Good morning, folks. Welcome to another Big Saturday stream. This is the first part of it. We'll be playing Wayward because it's fun. And it, I like it. <laughs> I don't know what to really say otherwise. Um, but yeah, we'll be playing Wayward. We'll, we'll be working more on blacksmithing and making some better tools and armor and just making life a little better for our little our little critter. But before we begin doing that, I am still ra raising money for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund. Who helps pay bail to secure the safety and liberty of individuals in jail and immigration detention. They also help address just the disproportionately high rate and harm of jailing on LGBTQ folks. Because society loves to just treat us like shit. As a lot of LGBTQ folks tend to be uh, less well off than others in society, so yeah, if that's something. That, if that's something that sounds like you'd like to donate to, I have a button below my stream that should be easy to use to donate. I have a chat command exclamation point donate. I also have a chat bot that shares that that command every thirty minutes. That same chatbot also shares my Discord server, if that's something you're interested in as well. And when the stream uh, comes up, I have a um, QR code that you can scan, if that's how you would like to donate as well. So there's plenty of different ways, and regardless of which one you choose, I really appreciate you if you do. Alrighty. And, oh, calm down. <laughs> I'm not that excited yet. <laughs> we just started. <laughs> All right, uh, let me see. Let me pull up Wayward. There you are. Oh, there was an update on the 29th. So maybe there's some new stuff to play around with. No idea. We'll, we'll find out, maybe. <laughs> I'll finish eating my... My, br my breakfast here while the game's loading. I love the music in this game, by the way. I've got to say it like every single time I play it because it's just so good. We were just doing a lot of stuff last stream. We expanded our little garden. I think we we're waiting to expand it even more too. Okay, those are gates. Uh, let me drop that again. So I think I need like two, I need four fence gates, or fence uh, posts rather. So I can finish off my little garden here. Uh, two logs and a pole. Okay, well in that case, let's uh... Figure out, do I have any poles anywhere? I have uh... I can dismantle these branches for poles. Alright, cool. Hmm. 
Hmm. We're gonna hold on to this pole that's like uh, purple quality, because you never know when you might need some, a good quality uh, pole like that. Sometimes you just need some good pole, you know? <laughs> Okay, so there's two of the fences. We need uh, two more poles and two more logs. I'm just about to use those because I just don't, can't be bothered. I mean, I guess I can be bothered. Might as well, oh, there's some more logs over here anyway. Or they, they are a little, uh, You don't have to craft things this way, like where stuff's on the ground, but it tends to be a, a, an easy way to do stuff when you have heavy things like logs that you have to craft with. Just make a big pile of them on the ground and then just kind of get the other stuff and bring them to the logs. Like in this case, we need uh, two more poles, so we're gonna just make some more of these branches, because that's the easiest way to do that. Okay, and then we'll craft these other fence posts. The shark tooth is close to being destroyed. Oh no! <laughs> anyway. this fence out to basically this I'm, I'm guessing this is gonna be like the final form of this farm because there's not really much other room for us to put this place right here of course we're not limited to only one farm we can just make we can make more of them but I wanted to focus on not having at least one big farm just full of stuff for us to do more on getting the uh, cotton going um, once um, this plant is ready to give us seeds because then we can uh, try our hand at spreading out making more cotton that way all right so Hunger, let's see what we can do about that. We've got worm meat. Let's eat that first, I guess. We'll give us some stamina back, and now we're full. Okay. Alright, uh, you got purified water. Let's just take a sip. Is this purified as what well? it is? Honestly, eight of these is overkill, but I, why not go do overkill if you're doing anything at all? And it's so easy just to restock these with water. You just get more seawater, dump it in there, and then just leave it alone, and it will just do more. I 
We got these big ass pineapples now too. They're completely unnecessary, honestly, to grow. Because they're, they're heavy, so it's not like they're super great for, um... They're like, they're super great for survival. I mean, they're fine, but we're surviving very handily off of shark meat <laughs> and otherwise fish meat and cucumbers. How many scales we got there? Quite a few. Although before long, we're gonna be getting up to uh, metal armor. Okay, we got all of this. I think I was still working on getting all this wrought iron turned into iron uh, ingots. Um, or bars or whatever. Oh yeah, they are they are called ingots in this game. Okay. I'm low, I'm low on talcum powder and low and low on limestone. I was mistaken when I was thinking they need to go get more iron. We don't need to quite yet, but uh, so talcum, carbon, and lime. Both of those should be all those should be downstairs somewhere. Which we got that little spot down there. Let's kind of try to organize our bag a, uh, just a little more. I'm almost certainly over prepared for going down there, but hey, wh what else are we gonna do? Not over prepare? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take some coffee drink here while it's still warm. Tin. That's great. Oh yeah, I think I found another like cave down here last time, like another like stretch of cave. So there might be even more stuff for us to discover down here. Like there's a lot of tin there. That's a journal. And I guess we can try doing that up. Neat. Uh, what do we have? Is that coal? That is coal. There's a skeleton that's probably going to get up if we go near it. Which, I mean, I don't really care. It's not like it's going to really be able to hurt us too much. We're, our armor is not super great, but it's, but it's more than enough for them. Yeah, the torch does more damage than our axe does. Where you fucking think you're going, skeleton? I will return you from once you <laughs> came. <laughs> How good is this hammer? Eh. I can use it to like fix everything in my inventory that I just don't want to waste a bunch of other repairs on, I guess. Oh, 
although it's definitely not using that one, even though it almost certainly should be. Let's do it this way instead then. Is the prior toys using the hammer with the highest durability instead? Hmm. Looks like it does. Hmm. Weird. Well, that doesn't really do me much good then. By the time I fix everything, this one's not gonna be worth the shit. This one's just not worth our time. It is worth our time to fix everything though, but... Alright, let's see what else we got down here. Some talc. Oh yeah, we've got a uh, iron pickaxe now instead of a, a stone one, so we'd mine the. Oh no, I realize why I now had the uh, <laughs> the pesto mortar with us is because well, that lets us cr that's, that's been letting us crush up uh, rocks on the go. I'm likely gonna head back after this bit of talc here anyway. So it's not the end of the world. Hmm, is this more talc? No, that's tin. It can be a little hard for me to tell what is what, because some a lot of it looks really similar. There's always so much you can do with like this like level of uh, graphics <laughs> to differentiate things. I mean, I'm not really scared of this skeleton. <laughs> I was just trying to avoid having my torch get hurt. You know what? You're gonna just get up again, aren't you? <laughs> it, it did. It did. It certainly did. They're lost though, because I can just uh, take their bones and go. We'll be okay. I can use these bones for plenty of other goody, good things. Oh, it was that way. Okay. At this point in time, we are well and truly beyond you caring about tin. Because, yeah. I, I realize you can make stuff out of tin. But then you're wasting all like your talc and stuff on tin. Which you probably don't want to be doing when you can be using it for iron. I've got a feeling that they probably should make it to where tin and copper don't use that kind of stuff where you can like kind of uh, just melt it in a furnace. I feel like that would make it much more useful for kind of like a bridging point between a super early mid game and mid game or whatever. I 
Then again, I don't know. I don't, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. Pestle and mortar. There you are. It weighs five pounds, but I can help mitigate that by putting it in here. Now it only weighs two and a half. And <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, talcum powder weighs at least a little less. I keep just making a bunch of special powders because my skills are pretty high at this point. It doesn't weigh much less, but with how many I have, it's still oh, enough to shave off a few pounds. Alright, let's put away all this talc. And we now have... Cool. <clears throat> All right, let's take a, take a nice little rest on our feather bed roll. Character's thirsty. Okay. One of our spiders up there is making. They're just crapping out silk all the time. Uh, let's eat this pineapple. It does give us seeds. I Most things don't give you seeds back when you eat them, but apparently pineapples do, which is nice. That's another point in their favor, because apples do too. That pineapple healed five hunger and quenched four thirst. I mean, that's basically equivalent to like, that's like roughly equivalent to like two pretty low ball uh, cucumbers, so. gonna be six we'll just keep planting the seeds as I eat more of the as I eat more pineapples I'll just plant the seeds in other places replant that one That one's almost ready. Gotta say, pineapples are a pretty good shelf life, so we'll probably just kind of haul it around with us while we're, uh, while we're doing other stuff like finding uh, getting copper and all that not copper uh, coal <laughs> oh shit <laughs> I always do that I really hate it because if grass isn't fully grown you can like walk over and destroy it which means it basically isn't doesn't do anything for you which is annoying but you know what can you really do <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, we got stuff that we can drop off that, um... Another good reason to have stuff like pineapples and cucumbers going is that they let you uh, use less water. Since they themselves restore water. And, I'm, and combined with these, it's, it, it's very, they're very busted. Is this grown? No, it's flowering. It's almost there. Uh, cucumber plant. Probably gonna start trying to plant uh, cucumbers down there. Honestly, at some point I should probably make an area down there specifically for these spreading zones. Because it takes a lot of space up that could just otherwise be had for just plants that I want to grow. Okay, let's, uh... Alright, we did, we, we did get some, uh, some blue cucumber seeds. That's part of the reason why I didn't, uh, <laughs> didn't move these yet, is because, well, I want to have at least another blue plant or two. Like you. Ah, oh, you turned to green. Well, whatever. So yeah, I'll just keep that kind of going. No reason really not to. We're still just waiting on this to move out of the way. Although at this point I could just... Yeah, we're gonna just plant this uh, cotton seed now. It would probably be wise at some point for me to try to make higher quality uh, fertile soils because these are just the normal quality. But I can imagine if I make some high, if I make some high quality fertilizer and find some high quality ashes or whatever and then like get some high quality dirt because sometimes you do find dirt that's not just white dirt like there's some sugar somewhere around here somewhere yeah like almost everything in this game can have a quality value so um... Drop all bone fragments. Uh, let's take a read through this journal. I'm not sure if I can properly explain this. Maybe if I ever see you in person again, I can walk you through it. I can I can show it to you if you have not yet experienced it. I hope that day comes. Sadly, I fear that shall not be the case. There is a presence here. It's a force. A force that bends things to its will. It preys on my malevolence. I know I sound mad, but I'm sure of this. I have dispatched of many helpless creatures here. Now I part us a moment to be sure. That force is the strongest in the, those times. Times where I push myself over that perilous moral edge and indulge in my very nature. The nature of us all. To fight. To kill. To dominate. And yet the force wanes as I tend to my crops and as I slay the evil things that roam here. Maybe there is no force and this is just a manifestation of guilt. My abject want of a rejection of progress and to live a peaceful existence. Hope I can see you again. In this life or the next. Your loving sister, Margaret. Well... Probably dead, Margaret. So you should have uh, did more plant tending. <laughs> uh, do I have any more? I think I was. Are these roots? Those are roots. I should probably put those inside because some animals do eat plant roots, like rabbits or whatever. They don't like spoil or anything. Alright, let's go back down and we got a good amount of talc, so I think now we need a lime, maybe limestone. So let's see if we can find some in this side of the cave. I 
What are you? Some might wear at least your high anatomy rules is uninjured. Well, I guess we're fighting a rock monster. Didn't know these were a thing. Which means we should probably equip our pickaxe. We'll just cut it up. Oh. Alright. That's cool. What did it give us? Let's see. Copper, drop, talc, limestone. Oh, alright. Hey, that's basically like one full like ingot basically on its own. <laughs> so. I wonder if I can actually crush those. Limestone and talcum. And hey, I'll take another iron. Don't get, don't gotta, don't gotta, don't gotta tell me twice. Equip to main hand. Equip to off hand. And I'll put that pickaxe back in our uh, tool bag here. All right, let's see what else we can find. The little rock critter is not something I had uh, planned on. So that's kind of cool that we just got some extra free resources. Is there anything here? No, not anymore. Yeah, these underground areas are like easily the best place to find your minerals, but they also contain monsters. Oh, there's probably some, probably went off in the darkness somewhere because I heard a little like, evasion kind of scampering thing. Let's see what lies down here. Ah, limestone. Perfect. I was, I was looking for... Get out of the way. I was looking for some. too much weight let's crunch it up oh I see a spooky ghost spooky ghost does not like fire uh, tin gloves hmm if I'm not going to a cold place the Fur gloves don't really do much for me, so maybe these tingles would be worth our time. Let's see. Two defense. Minus one fire, minus one cold. Vermin, one defense. Plus one slashing, plus two cold, minus one blunt. Uh, kind of a toss up which one's better between the fur and the the uh, tin gloves but I can very least turn this tin gloves into metal or something There we go. That's, that's the one I was wanting it to go into, but the game was being stubborn. Uh, Pirate Ghost Corpse, you can just... I should probably cut you up and then just, like, kind of leave you there. Okay, drop the rocks. Hit the bricks! <laughs> 
what are you doing down here? <laughs> this is clonk. Just get them. They just got got. Alright, move to um, the bag. And we'll mine some more. I'm not even going to bother looting your corpse, spider. Because why are you even down here? You should know better. I'm just desperately trying to find things to freaking uh, toss in my bags over here to reduce the weight. We'll have to come back. We'll have to come back. Although I can just drop this uh, journal because I mean we already read it. It's not gonna do us much more good, I don't think. Mmm, cucumber seeds. <laughs> My favorite. Alright. Any other way we can reduce weight? Or are we just have, gonna have to go back? We might just have to go back at this point. Ten. Yeah, yeah. There's a good amount of stuff down here still. Or do we just have to, like get it I'll take that back with me too there's little rock dudes it was just as locked hmm well let's find out what we got in it or try to rather well that worked a tin hoe Hmm. How much does that weigh compared to my other hoe? Because my other hoe here is two and a half pounds. This one's one and a, one and a half. I almost certainly need to make more newer tools. Good morning! Yeah, I love this game. It's a, it's a roguelike survival game. Everything is turn-based, so if you don't move, things don't move. All that kind of fun stuff. It's got a weight system. It's got a, uh, a, 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 it's got a dynamic difficulty system based on what you do. Like, if you do a lot of stuff that, like, is harmful to nature... It tends to make make your m malignity go up, but if you do a lot of stuff like farming or whatever, you, your benignity goes up. So you can kind of like dynamically adjust how hard things are based on what you do or what happens. Uh, blue book, let's... What, what does this say? Let's read it. On water and hydration. There's water in the ground. There's water in the cave. If I got thirsty, I'll soon find my grave. There's water in the well. There's water in the sea. Shall I go thirsty? We shall very well see. Water is found in many places, but not all forms are safe to drink. Take, for example, your never-ending horizontal surrounding, the sea. It would be so easy if you were able to drink the salty brine, but even in a dire situation, it can often be deadly. It, it will cause you cause distress to your insides and make you even thirstier. What type of gods found delight in such a thing? <laughs> yep. There is a workaround, however. Constructing a still will allow you to desalinate the water by distilling it. Boiling the water for long periods of time will cause the filtered steam to collect in a separate vessel, resulting in nearly pure water. Show those gods what for. Or perhaps you can find water on land. That's basically just like, kind of like an in-game kind of like hint that we're not really worried about. Um, uh, yeah, you can keep the book. Um. I do want this tin chest at some point though, because this is a bigger chest than the wood ones I have back at home. 
We're gonna take this tin hoe with us because we can dismantle it to some more uh, ingots or whatever. We are pretty laden down because we're at the point in our life where we're doing metalworking and that involves pretty heavy stuff. Oh, there's a pirate ghost. Ooh. What do you got? Scale leggings. Are we just still wearing bark leggings, I think? We sure as fuck are. Um, well, that's actually worth looking into. Let's see. Three defense, base... Three, base three defense, plus one fire defense, minus one blunt, minus one piercing, compared to uh, one defense. So yeah, these scale leggings are much better. Yeah, we're gonna just we're gonna equip those, and then we'll just kind of. Are they lighter too? And to the contrary, they are not lighter, but that's fine. We'll figure out. We'll figure something out. Just, there you go. <laughs> oh, zoomed out a little too far there. Let's drag this stuff to this bag. We're trying to shed some weight. Not really shed some weight, but like re reappropriate it elsewhere. There we go. Yeah, the underground areas of the island here are uh, much less safe. Music in this game fucking rules. It's really good. Just really good music. So this is our little home. We got like a garden area here. We've got our little kind of interior area that's still kind of being worked on. We've got a boat. We've got some water stills that work with the power of the sun. Which are a lot better than the thing that they were talking about in that book. And then we've got our uh, menagerie of critters for uh, fun and profit <laughs> don't really use the don't really do much with the goats these days but they kind of just pass away gain us taming XP because they just eat leaves and the leaves are extremely easy to get Matter of fact let's give them a few more let's uh, sort and find where our leaves are we got one leaves, so let's get you like three. There's two. That, that. Well, I also have a snake here that I set up to get some scales. But before long, we're gonna be moving on to a uh, metal armor. So it's, I think it's a little, uh, a little late. Uh, although, you, as you can see, I did have a scale chest piece that I had made myself in a belt. But, anywho, we also have these spiders that are, uh, you can tame almost everything in this game, including these spiders, so I, what I did is I tamed them, and I hitched them up to this hitching post, and now they're just stuck here making spider silk forever, <laughs> which we can use to make string. The only thing we have to really do when with the silk is just go over here, withstand a possible attack. Oh yeah, we're still over overweighed by like a million things. Whoops. <laughs> Let's uh, move all spider silk to the bag. Oh, we can extinguish this and put it in the bag as well. There we go. I, I, that was a mistake, but that's, a, that's fine. <laughs> uh. Let's see. Which pile? I think this middle pile here is just for all my, like, String materials. Cause I mean chests are good, but I might have to get I might have to get a, a chest specifically for stuff on the beach here, cause like yeah, there's a lot of stuff. I could just move it all to my base at some point. But that's a lot of work. <laughs> Kindling, 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 okay. We also have just a big pile of tree bark over here. You can use it as kindling, but it's usually better used for other things like making string, so we'll usually try to save that. 
Now the main thing that's weighing me down is like all this uh, this limestone powder that I got from downstairs because to do metalworking you need limestone powder and talcum powder. I'm probably going to need to, um, I might need to move the, uh, finished, uh, iron ingots elsewhere. Then again, as I, as I use more of this talcum powder stuff up, I will, uh, use up some of the stuff that's in, you know, the chest, so we'll have more room for more stuff. What about these clay flakes? Do I need those in here? No, they're not. They don't weigh much anyway, so whatever. Okay. Well, let's light our furnace and let's actually first look here. 23 talcum, 10 carbon, 26 limestone. Well, we can like make, make at least like 10 more ingots, so let's give it a shot. So let's light our furnace and we'll do that, 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 that. Nope. Oh. Oh, our tongs. I was wondering what the hell is making that noise. Uh, do we have other tongs? We do. Okay, I think I found. I think I found these tin tongs as loot. And I was like, oh well, we can just uh, use those first. Well, let's repair those, get some free metalworking XP, and then we'll just keep making some ingots. To my current knowledge, t iron is the highest tier metal in this game, unless there's like steel somewhere that I just don't know about. Which I mean. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, yeah, I just wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> all right, let's move all these iron ingots back. Okay, and then we still have. Hmm, I see. Copper only requires talcum powder, not limestone as well. <clears throat> but copper also kind of sucks. Because not it's barely even worth your time to do anything with it. If you can even find it. Um what is it? Right here. Okay, so we have 13 more ingots we can make if we get the carbon to go with it. Get another raw iron created. We'll toss it in our box here. See, what I'm trying to do is grind my uh, blacksmithing skill up really high by making just all the ingots and stuff so that when it goes to actually time to making stuff that matters, I'll have the skill to do it because if your skill does not meet the requirements, you have a much lower chance of making stuff. You can actually damage the uh, materials to the point of them like going, just, just being destroyed. So you, gotta have to, you have to be kind of cautious sometimes when it comes to that, to doing stuff like that. Oh. Well, our furnace is still lit up. I was I was thinking of dismantling this tin hoe, but it's a higher quality, and I think that means it'll be slightly better at doing stuff like tilling the ground. So let's uh we'll swap that out with the, our stone one we have here, and we'll just like dismantle this. We are gonna dismantle these tin gloves though, because I don't really have any use for them. That's a lot more metal than I was expecting to get out of that. Well, I guess that goes in here until I can figure out what to do with it. I guess in, I guess at some point in this up in this recent update cycle, they've made a uh, cart like carts that you can use. Honestly, I might just use all these to make to tongs. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I don't really have any reason not to. Um... <sighs> Looks like copper is like a tier higher than tin. Yeah, tin's not very powerful. <laughs> but hey, tongs are tongs. They are pretty lightweight. Uh, let's put the tongs at the very top of the inventory. So I can kind of see what and where they are. Tin tongs, iron tongs, and more tin tongs. Oh, uh, got any other tongs in here I should worry about? No, but this uh, this uh, sand cast flask here lets us make the, the ingots in the first place, so we kind of need those. We got a little bit of a skill up from repairing. so bad honestly we do have these 10 ingots though it looks like we have two there and we got one here we can make another uh, tong I believe I'm more than happy to do that with the tin because otherwise I'm just not gonna use it Yeah, if they made it to where tin didn't use like talcum powder or anything like that, it'd be a great way to kind of get your feet foot in the door with uh, metal working. But talcum powder, you're much better saving that for making iron, which iron is much more useful in general. Okay, so we need more copper. That that gives us some options of what we do next to get that copper. Not copper. Ugh. Carbon. <laughs> it's the other C. There's copper and then there's carbon. There's only two C words in the world. <laughs> but yeah, we need to get uh, some of that. And our, uh, our options include um, going back down to the mines and finding some. Or we can just start a fire. We can like set up a bunch, like a kind of like a burning kind of situation with some poles. And make a bunch of them at once. Which is more renewable than the co the, the coal is. <laughs> as, as you may suspect, since you can just, there's, you can grow more trees and such. So I think we're going to actually do that. So kind of go over to this area. I think this is the area I've been doing it in in the past anyway. Let's see. see, what do I do? What are, what are these trees? Are these all blue remarkable trees? Oh, cool. Those are, um... Well, they're not all remarkables, but... There are all these higher tier trees I'm growing so I get higher tier seeds to plant more higher tier trees. It's like forestry and all that jazz. But yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just slice through all that. Dis dismantle these logs. Yeah, we know, a shark tooth's gonna break, that's fine. When you fight, when you kill sharks and gut gut them, uh, you get shark teeth, which act as pretty good uh, sharpen, like good uh, like tools to use as like knives. Which is this, th those shark teeth are just as good as this granite knife I've had for a while. So I use the shark teeth up first because it's basically the same thing.
Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take all of these um, logs, turn them into planks, and then dismantle the planks to get these poles. That's just harvest. Uh, what's this for? Oh, that's for uh, planting seed, grass seeds. We're not really doing that right now, so I'm fine uh, changing that to something else. Like, let's drag that down here and just look to build. This will make this process I'm doing a little less annoying. A little less annoying. Alright, now what we have to do for all these is light them all on fire. Which I'll just do with my uh, my fire drill that I have. Do I have a torch with me? It might be... It, 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 nah, torches are kind of annoying to make and you want to use them for lighting up the darkness. Cause using um, cause using your fire uh, like your my fire drill to start all these fires takes up a lot of this fire making, fire starting stuff. So what we do instead is get a pole and use a pole like a, like yeah we can uh, dismantle you. Take this pole, go up to main hand. Ignite it. And then we can use this pole to light more of these. Instead of having to use like... Instead of having to use um... Fire starting stuff, we can just use like one pole to start more of these fires. And now, we can just kind of put the pole, we can extinguish the pole. Now we can just build with it, perfect, that's even better. That's an even better way to do it, because <laughs> when you're done with it, you just put it in the ground, it'll turn to charcoal. Easy. Superior apple tree. And as these finished burning down, they'll turn it to charcoal, which is great. This chicken here's got like a a, a ton of uh, seeds to just eat, because what, what the hell else am I going to do with the seeds? Drop all tree bark, get that out of the way. Drop you and you. Well, I'll drop these two. For now, I don't need the logs. So we'll just hold on to them over here. Okay, most of these are reduced on embers. Well, it shouldn't be too much longer before they start just turning into charcoal. Ooh, slime. What What are you? A mud skipper? Why are you here? That thing does spawn here. Oh. 
thank you, slime. We can use that on our uh, our new uh, tin um, hoe here to improve its durability when we can get around to it. Let's see if I can make a dash to the ocean to grab some seawater and then come back and use like the leftover uh Well now we got two slime. Great. Okay, gather some seawater. And my hope was that I was gonna be able to use the embers of the charcoal that we're making to make this um Ah, uh, there's one left. Because <laughs> we can use seawater and the slime to make um, glue, but you have to have a heat source, which this counts as a as a fire source. And now it doesn't because it's extinguished. But that's okay. We can just go do more. We'll turn this on just because that makes this process easier okay cool and that got us a decent amount of charcoal that is turn we can use that to get carbon powder for basically nothing we, we tore down a few dead trees and we turned that into a blacksmithing uh, material I guess see, we got some carbon powder. Let's just. hungry I haven't really been looking at my uh, statistics up there for a bit but we are a little hungry so let's see cucumbers will last for a while pemmican lasts forever because it's pemmican let's eat some of this fish steak real quick because the little green bar there is it's like decay because all food has like certain like shelf lives and all that kind of stuff Okay, then we can drink some water now too. Let's see, purified water. Let's drink from in front. Gather liquid. Honestly, like getting the stuff set up for making these stills is like almost like the most important thing you can do Im immediately when you start a file. Because these solar stills are very overpowered. Oh, I'm gonna drink some more of my coffee here. All you have to do for these solar stills is attach a container to them, pour seawater in, and then leave it alone. It automatically uh, makes water for you. And once you get like two or three of them, you can kind of like self sustain without having to do much else. Once you get four, it's like guaranteed that you're going to be fine. Or now we're just kind of got. Extra. <laughs> to the point where I can just like frivolously just drink water whenever I want. Like this is like the year of our Lord 2023. <laughs> I do need some water though for uh making this other glue. Because so I do want to um, just reinforce this tin hoe. Make it more powerful. You know, 
let's uh, repair our hoe here. Get just a little bit of, of blacksmithing XP. And with all this uh, carbon that we just made, we should be able to make some more uh, ingots. Thirteen talcum, fifteen carbon, sixteen limestone. Yep. Let's make some more. Tin tongs. Uh, let's uh, repair those first before they go. B they go completely bad. Just get a little bit extra. May maybe get a little bit more uh, XP. We'll repair them as long as they're repairable. Which is probably about now, or it's like a, like you try to repair and it'll just like break. Yeah. The they were they were so used up that they broke they shattered in pieces. That's okay. They were made of tin. Alright, well there's some more iron ingots. Making up, making, doing blacksmithing stuff, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Tends to, uh, make your malign go up. And we're gonna start storing all our, our iron ingots in here instead. That leaves us lots of room for more um, supplies like that. Yeah, I've been trying to use uh, some of these um, just stones on the floor to just make uh, granite flooring, because why not? <laughs> Might as well use them for something. You have to be cautious about like how much stamina you use, because if your character gets too tired, you'll start taking exhaustion damage, which early on especially can be very dangerous because you don't have much HP. As it is, like when you get strength strength boosts, your HP goes up, but you also gain a bunch of malign, so you have to kind of carefully judge when you're gonna do stuff. That might make the island want to kill you, so it's kind of a, a delicate dance of do I do this and risk getting a bunch of malign so that bad shit starts spawning or what, so. <clears throat> Either way, we're gonna sleep. Oh. Something's stirring around me, huh? Why is there a goat in here? What? That wasn't an innocent goat. It literally came in here after me. How did it even get in here? My doors are closed. Can it just spawn on these? I'm guessing you can just spawn on this kind of tile like this. <clears throat> All the more reason to make, to make more of these floors.
I think this is where I'm keeping my ashes. Not my ashes, but the ashes that I own. <laughs> that's, a, that's a distinction. Like the whole like use commas carefully thing. Like let's eat, let's have grandma for dinner <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. Um, Now the way I got my uh, mal my malign and stuff balanced out was when I was at the island where um, I found the iron at. I was uh, when I was at that island, I found these hobgoblin monsters that drop these orbs that, when you spin, when you rub them a certain way, it gives you a lot of uh, benign. And honestly, I think I should probably go back and get more iron and do that because it was really good. Anyway. Well, waste not want not. We're gonna eat we're gonna eat this uh cook up and we we'll eat it when we wake up because we'll have more use for the hunger, I guess. We're gonna get some seawater too. So we can make some glue out of the uh, brains. To once again uh, make glue, to once again keep buffing up our stuff here. Like this tin hoe. Might as well. I don't know if there's necessarily a limit that you you can really go to when you're reinforcing your stuff with glue. Anyway, let's try sleeping again. I, again, no idea how or where that um, goat came from. I have I have a feeling it's because this that, that long hallway is a stone and it spawned down in that hallway. I guess the way to get around that would be to put a door here, which I probably should anyway, because it's kind of like, yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's eat some, eat, eat this big old goat steak here. Mmm, yum. Oh no, some of our cooked chopped fish is decayed. What we can do with this decaying cooked chopped fish is we can turn it to pemmican. Which no longer has a shelf life. It, do it doesn't restore nearly as much hunger, but it's basically infinite. F it's basically timeless food. Frankly, I think we're gonna do the same thing with these uh, next two things here, because. That are, their their freshness is looking a little not fresh. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna kind of offload some more stuff. We don't. I almost never really keep the, these. Uh, like we got a pile of just animal pelts over here. I don't really use them for much very often because you don't often need leather past like the earliest parts of the game because you use leather to make like, you know, water skins and all that. Which, you know, fine. <clears throat> but now that we're onto like the glass era of making stuff, 
Like we make glass bottles, we have these glass solar stills, etc. Now that we're up to that, like leather is a lot more less used. Speaking of a lot less. Come here, bitch. Don't be shy. <laughs> I'll just shield bash you into oblivion. To a fine into a fine pulp, even. Spider goo. All right. Let's go ahead and grab all these um, these bottles, and we'll go make sure they're all nice and repaired. are nice and repaired now what do I have in my boat because your bo the boats here can hold um, things in them they have like they have a hundred capacity of storage it's looking like we've got a, a whole entire granite kiln in there which is probably most of that 32 pounds and frankly I'm planning on at some point moving islands entirely to one of the islands that has iron at the island as to um, make it easier to um, get more iron. Oh, hello, shark! You wanna, you wanna, you wanna tussle? <laughs> Thought so. Yeah, once you get strong enough to just kill sharks, you don't really have to worry about food very much. Because <laughs> each shark gives you like two of these uh, fish steaks. And once you cook them up, they're like pretty solid food. You can even cook the... Uh, the thing, the, I use the, uh, there's an offal that you get from most creatures when you kill them, which is like their brains and guts and whatever. I usually use that to make glue, just because glue is great, you, that makes your stuff, your tools better. Let's see, this one goes from 341 max to 381. Hey, another 40 durability never hurt no one. We're also gonna drop this shark fin because it doesn't really have any use for us. The shark tooth goes there for more cutting. <laughs> and let's cook these uh, fish steaks. So yeah, each um, shark gives you basically at minimum 12 hunger. So once you can just kill sharks, like you don't really have to worry about food very much at all anyway. We're gonna gather liquid in four of these bottles because we're actually gonna go to the other uh, to that other island I was talking about that's got like this it's it's a swamp island because I should probably actually make a permanent base there Alright, those will be making more stuff. For the sake of it, I'll just grab this pineapple. We'll take it there with us and just plant it on the beach somewhere. And eventually that'll just kind of be an extra food source. So we got plenty of water. We've got food. 
We didn't just take some apples with us, too. Might as well. Alright, well, let's get in our little boat and we'll go, um... We'll leave. We'll, we'll, we'll pick up this shark on the way. <laughs> just bullying sharks in the high seas. We'll put that... We'll put this stuff away for right now, just because it'll rot a lot slower in our backpack than uh, if we uh, just have it in our main inventory. Alright, then we reached the edge of the map. I just realized we're pretty thirsty, actually. Should have drank some water back at base, but whatever. It probably doesn't matter that much. Alright. Hello, Ventus. Good morning. Thank you for the hydrate. I'm going to finish my coffee off, because otherwise it's going to get extra cold and be a little less appetizing. Hello, motherfucker. Hello, hello. I've been fighting to get my freaking um, sound alerts to actually be working again over the last, like, week. Because <laughs> I don't have a lot of time to test stuff. But I was able to figure out this morning, so... I, now everyone can hear it. Now all of China knows you said hello, motherfucker. <laughs> ah. Alright. We are playing Wayward. I think the Shores of Moss is... Yeah, that's the wetlands biome that I uh, previously... Uh, went to and that's where we're eventually gonna probably make a base because that's where you find iron underground in these biomes are you sure you want to travel to another island food and water are recommended yup advancing island time Alright, well, we arrived on, like, the north side, because we sailed from the north. Makes sense to me. Okay, our hunger is pretty low, and our thirst is pretty low. So let's take advantage of both of those. We'll eat these pineapples. Which will not only get us pineapple seeds, but it'll just kind of make our stats nice and recovered. And then we can plant those pineapples when we get to shore. Um, perhaps I could already get to shore and I'm just being a little silly. Yes, we are playing Wayward as part of the first game, this first game being played today. For my big Saturday stream, I'll be streaming throughout most of the day. Not like continuously, but just like I'll be streaming throughout most of the Messages in the bottles of free bottles. I'll take those. Thank you. And, uh... Thank you. <clears throat> hmm. I know at some point I came to this island uh, previously and kind of, I honestly don't know the answer to that one. I, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be completely honest. I know very little about how bits actually work in general. That's in part why I don't charge them for the, the sound things because I just don't know how they work. I know they technically count uh, count as money, kind of, but I just don't know if like how Twitch handles that. Let's see, what do we? One bit equals one cent. Hmm. Cool. That's a big rat. It makes all the rules. Yeah, I, st I just don't know if uh, 
the fundraising stuff works with bits. If it does, that'd be cool. But I just don't really know. Ah, yeah, this is the area I previously was at. Oh, there's a shark down here. You, you wanna, you wanna fucking tussle? You wanna go? You don't really seem that interested, but I am. <laughs> Get us even more food, and just keep throwing it in my backpack. Those things spoil a lot more slow in your backpack. Like I think the backpack um, has a. 20% preservation boost. Ah! Okay, that makes sense. That, yeah, ridiculous amount of fucking bits for someone to have, but I mean, I can imagine some people are very addicted to watching Twitch, and that's what they do with their time, which, fair enough. It seems like a lot of bits, though. I think this is the area I pre yeah this is the area I previously explored when I came to this island the first time. What's this? Bones? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I remember this big ass swamp over here. That's a mud. It's mud kip. It's a mud skip. Oh, let's use our shovel. Uh, let's see, that'd be five. We'll just kind of dig that out. So I can sail my little boat through here. Yeah, as you can see, I left a bunch of garbage on the floor. So yeah, this is where I previously had a uh, my presence known. So we will continue to make our presence known. Let's uh, open our boat here. Let's get out the kiln. We'll we'll play the we'll play the pass and drop the kiln game, so that we don't have to worry about like hurting ourselves hefting this thing around. Basically, pick it up, put it down somewhere else, or throw it somewhere else to pick it up there. <laughs> Just it's a little silly. But yeah, we have this kiln here so we can repair our bottles. That said, though, we did just get uh, some new bottles because these messages in the bottles are an old educational scroll. What does this have on it? You have discovered an old educational scroll in the bottle. Your skill in stone crafting has increased. Oh. We've already learned all I can. Well, time to throw it into into the drink. Throw the worm in there too. Just get in the water, go! <laughs> there's dirt, there's mud, there's spike rush, which is like this weird grass, fertile soil, shallow swamp water, there's some stone, there's an entrance to the underground area where I found a lot of the iron I already had. <clears throat> um, let us drop off this, 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 what is this, S a snare? Alright, cool, whatever. Alright. <clears throat> Actually, I need to pat. I need to move this kiln uh, slightly over. We'll just put it here. Okay, and then let's. Then again, let's grab out these the rest of the stuff. This little plant bedroll can go. Uh, here. 
Because you, you can use the kiln as a fire source to sleep at and to cook with, as well as repair stuff, so it's very useful, actually, just to have it for everything. Okay, and then we'll build these other water stills I brought with me on purpose. Because if I just bring them with me instead of having to build them when I get here, we basically just ready to go immediately. Okay, let's, move our, let's park our boat, like, over here. Out of the way a little bit. <clears throat> okay... We are a little peck, a little thirsty. <laughs> um, I might actually uh, keep those cucumbers and plant them here, so that we can uh, have cucumbers growing here. Especially since I'm not seeing any, really, any sand to plant these um, pineapples in. Well, I think I could probably plant the pineapples just in the dirt, and I'll be fine. But. Let's, so in that case, we're going to, um, just drink some water. Mmm. Let's light a fire. Start just cooking all this meat. Let's see, these giblets do, um... They do four hunger apiece, which is... We'll eat those first, because they have, like, by far the lowest shelf life of probably anything we have on our person. Okay, we'll store the rest of these fish steaks in our bag. They'll last quite a while, because they'll get reduced... Their decay is just reduced by, like, 20%. We'll eat this one, because it's been sitting in our bag for a while. Let's drink some more water. Okay, we'll attach these bottles here. <clears throat> Do this kind of deal. We'll get these solar stills all loaded up with seawater and then they'll desalinate while we're off doing other business. Yep, that's all you gotta do for these. You give them a container like a water skin or a bottle, you dump some seawater on them, and then you just, you just fuck off and go do something else for a while. And when you come back you'll later, you'll probably have water. It's, it's really easy. <laughs> Before we go, go underground, let's see about planting some of this stuff that I, uh... Do I have any fertile soil that's not just white? Oh, there's some green ones down there. We're gonna grab that green fertile soil. Unless there's better ones somewhere. Yeah, this fertile soil here is green. I think that I think that means it gives a uh, a bonus to everything planted in it, as opposed to just being the white soil. So let's do. I think it's five. Yeah. Okay. Green fertile soil. Dig up some dirt here. Since, yeah, since we're gonna be placing the fertile soil here anyway, we might as well, um. Might 
Might as well get some more dirt out of it. We can replace some of this mud with more dirt, and then we can just grow stuff. I've not seen nearly as many herbivores running around this uh, island area so far, so I don't think we have as much to worry about when it comes to, uh... It's like this... Yeah, I don't think we have quite as much to worry about when it comes to, um... Things getting into our shit. I figure if I take some time to set this up now, we'll benefit f much further down the road. When we have sustainable food just hanging out up here. Oh, looks like this is also previously a dedicated dirt spot, so. Oh, well, we don't want that. I mean, maybe we do, but eh. There's plenty of ways to get underground right now. I'm not really that worried about it right this second. The over the overweight um, stamina production thing used to be much, much worse. I don't know when they changed it. Shallow fresh water, huh? Well, waste not, want not. Didn't really, wasn't really planning on getting that from digging up. <laughs> All right. I wonder if that means there's like a body of water underneath here. That would, that does seem possible. This is like an endless amount of dirt it seems too. Oh, it's you. Per perish. <laughs> I, I just want to find not dirt. Oh, uh, well, I, I did find not dirt. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> that gotta say, that's pretty good. I like that. I've got my own um, animated emote <laughs> that I made. Like, whenever Sprigatito was like announced, like the first time, I was like, okay, that's yeah. Maybe not quite as good as the Wiggly one, but I, I, I do like it. Jesus Christ, how much dirt is in this one spot? Well, thank you for the bits. Thank you for the one dollar. I appreciate ya. How much dirt is... Dirt and worm... This is like the endless dirt and worm pile. Okay, finally. Jesus Christ. Look at all this dirt we got. I mean, it's good we got all this dirt, because that'll let us actually, like, make a more, just expand a farming area around here. So now I'm going to kind of wander around and try to find some more fertile soil that's, like, green quality as opposed to uh, white. Of course, I could probably make my own fertile soil that's that quality, but eh, if it's already out in the world, I might as well just use it. Oh, there's some more. Yeah. Oh, did I not get the... Mm. I don't think I got the green fertile soil despite me dig trying to dig it up. That's that's a little annoying. Well, I guess I'll just set it down here. What is this? It's just soil. Guess I'll just throw it in the pile over here. <laughs> Uh, spike rush seeds. 
I think that's just this grass stuff. We'll just replant it. Just doing some light gardening. I guess I can go up this way, see if we find any fertile soil that's green quality. Oh, that was rocks. I was like, what the fuck's going on? I do that every single time I like run over rock, these little rock piles, because they're not always very easy to see. <laughs> so you're just like, what the hell? <laughs> Enjoy. You should, you should let me know what you make. What the fuck are you? You should, let, <laughs> you should let me know what you make when you get back. A lot of clay here. Ooh, blue? Can I get you, please? Ooh, <laughs> that's good. That, that should give a modifier to anything we plant in there. 40% growth speed, too. Wow, we. I should probably focus on. I say, I say this every single time, I should probably focus on this, and then I don't, because I can't. <laughs> but, like, 40% extra growth speed is impressive. That's gonna make things... Not only is that gonna, like, possibly give bonus modifiers to stuff that grows there, it's gonna grow faster, so... Yeah, we're, we're, let's, we're gonna plant these uh, cucumber seeds now. Well, I say we're gonna plant the cucumber seeds. I don't have the other seed yet, and if it's not a good, it's okay. It's it's serviceable. Okay, and we're gonna just drop all this other soil elsewhere. On the flip side, we do have a, a bunch of. Um, Like a whole bunch of uh, stuff to fish with, so we might as well do that. Uh, let's see, looks like it's seven for the fishing rod. Oh, a shark! Well, I mean, that's not what I was necessarily fishing for, but we definitely got some. We definitely got some, got some food out of it. Normally, I'd imagine that would be a um, a undesirable outcome when you're trying to fish and you just catch a shark, but we can 100% just eat the sharks too, because we are we are we are strong enough to just kind of do that. <clears throat> oh, look, we found another shark. Was I worried about food? Because I really shouldn't have been. I like how I caught a fishing net with my fishing pole. <laughs> God damn. Look at all this stuff. <laughs> Let's just move these offals into my inventory before they all just go bad. <laughs> Another, another fishing net, another shark. <laughs> Maybe I don't need to plant things here. I just kill some sharks for a little bit. <laughs> and just, holy shit, this is broken. Oh, there's, there's another one. I'm gonna fight you in the water. Come here, come here, bitch. <laughs> wow. I, I don't really know what to say. 
Look at all this this fish meat here. <laughs> I'm just, just scooping it all up. That was like four more sharks in like less than a minute. What the hell? I was not aware that they would be that common here, but well, I guess they are. I could just stand here and fish. <clears throat> in this deep sea water and just kind of find a bunch of a uh... oh well <laughs> all right there's there's another one I have a funny idea of something I could do to like utilize the pathfinding of these sharks. Uh, let's see. What I was thinking is basically make like a little maze that they have to go through to get to me while I'm fishing to get more sharks to spawn. <laughs> I'll probably need to kill these ones first before I do that, but that sounds like a pretty funny idea to me. On the flip side though, once I'm done with all these worms, I can like turn this fish steak into more bait <laughs> for more fish. another shark god damn this is absurd now normally you'd be like oh no there's so many sharks how am i gonna like deal with that but i i can deal with that so it's basically just these are basically just free food waiting for me to kill them whenever i feel like it um i'm probably not gonna actually fight fight them at this point because as it is, I'm gonna have way too much food to actually eat. So while it's good that I got that stuff planted, that's gonna be entirely unnecessary. We have we have so much fish. I am gonna plant these uh, pineapple seeds if it'll let me plant those here. All right, yeah, they'll let me plant them there. So I'll just plant these, and eventually we'll maybe need that for something. Maybe. No idea. Probably not. Same these apple seeds. I'll just plant them so that I don't have them in my inventory anymore. But with how much shark meat we have, we're probably fine on food for like till like the end of until I get bored of being here. I would say, and even then, maybe not even like maybe even maybe then even not like <laughs> like I probably just still have way too much. And if it really get, if it really comes, so I could just turn them into pemmican, and then they'll last forever. I'm actually gonna put all these earthworms in my uh, this backpack here. Just so I can hold on to them for later. Because all that digging got us a lot of earthworms. Don't have any kindling, huh? Well, that's a little annoying. Um, I have a solution. We've got kindling now. See, one of these fish steaks is a uh, six. Let's see. 
one of these chopped fishes is also six. What's the difference between these two foods? Two, eight, six, minus one, two, literally nothing. So dismantling all these, does have a, I think the, the shelf life might, is, is the shelf life the same? Two, seven, four, three. The shelf life might be slightly worse. But yeah, there's functionally no difference between these, uh, there's not much of a difference between this, this, uh, cooked chopped fish and these fish steaks. Fish steak of hoarding? What does that even mean? Oh! That fish steak has like 15,000 decay. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright. Wish I had a fish steak that would like stay fresh for 10 years. Oh, the fire went out. Well, piss. We're also gonna cook this worm meat, because whatever. Worm meat has a pretty long shelf life on its own. But we're about to uh, put all this cooked fish in our bag down there, and it will—it's gonna last for—it's gonna last for a while. Although I really should get a chest made. Maybe there's one down there I have not picked up yet in the in the beneath lands. There probably is. Because it's probably not really advised for me to have all this food on me. Because it's just, I don't need all this food on me. So it'd be a waste of uh, inventory space. Oh, hello. I think it's the first time I've seen one of these. But yeah, these uh, zombies are not a problem. At my, at my current power level... They do not really do enough to be worried for me to worry about. Superior chopped fish. Mm mm mm. Yum yum. Let's see. Desalinated water. We'll drink that. In our digging adventure today, we did get a bunch of uh. Well, yeah, that's right. I've got these maple seeds I just have on me. We just plant maple trees here. They're a lot easier to propagate than uh other kinds of trees so it's worth our time to just plant these and kind of let them grow as we do things here because maple trees are by far the best tree for just growing for wood because when you harvest their seeds you can just plant them immediately off the tree you don't have to like dismantle them or anything So yep, I'll just plant a bunch of these. I'll get our, our benign nice and high again. And then we can cash some of that in. I mean, not that it really matters that much in the grand scheme of things at this point. Because, well, we're fairly strong. So we're not really that worried about the uh, critters anyway. Oh, speaking of... Oh, that must have been the one I killed earlier. <laughs> Let's just, uh, yeah, let's just, uh, get your stuff from ya. Oh, this is the perfect time to actually use up, uh, these, this awful. I haven't actually cooked it yet. I thought I did, but I didn't yet, but 
We got some bone bits that we can use to uh, make some more. Uh... dismantle all these poles like one log turns to two planks and one plank turns to two poles so each shell uh, you just get a bunch of uh, these uh, dowels here and these can be used as kindling which is very nice so we're just gonna shuffle those on over to this side here Sweet. We're gonna be a little uh, dangerous and start a fire here <laughs> on the beach. I don't think it'll spread to our boat, but I... Yeah, let's, uh... Let's not take that chance. I didn't really think that far ahead. <laughs> we can also purify that, that groundwater we found. Perfect. Perfect timing, actually. It, the, the water... The water ran out. Not water, the fire. <laughs> My brain doesn't know what is going on. My brain's like, my brain's like, what are words? I don't know what that is. My shark fin pile where I keep all my rotten things. <laughs> I'll just cook the other the other giblets because I just can't be bothered to deal with them. <laughs> Alrighty, what are we gonna use this last uh, glue on? Gotta say, the fishing rod put in a lot of work, so I'm tempted to do that. But it's probably wiser to do it on something like this pestle and mortar. Betty by time. Let's see how long we get to sleep because I've been I've been just seeing a bunch of zombies wandering around. Oh, uh, the awful de I had more. Did it did it decay even after I cooked it? Well, maybe. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. I'm not that I'm not really that heartbroken over it. I've got like way too much food for my own good. As is, I think I'm gonna head down to the un to, to the, the underneath area. 
and we're going to see if I can find a chest because I, I know there's chests down there because I've looted them it's just a matter of can I find a chest down there that I can bring back upstairs let's see there's some coal there Oh, hey, there's a slime. Nice. Oh, there's these bog bodies. I was wondering if they were still here. And it turns out they are. They don't really do anything. They're not very strong, but you can't really... I've not really been able to find a way to hurt them. Either, so it's kind of like, hmm, what do? I could have swore there was a chest down here that I previously looted. Oh, here's one. A, a wrought iron chest. All right. All right, skeleton, let's fucking dance. Yeah, how do you like that? I'll absolutely take a wrought iron chest for free. Let's see if we can lockpick it though. We did. What what is this? A fossil. A scale belt, which we already. We'll take the stuff. I might just drop something on the ground. Like, yeah, we'll. Mm. Oh, what the fuck are you? A slither sucker. Wait, can I store things in this container? Like a backpack? Oh, would you look at that? Absolutely, you absolutely can. Well, might as well put all this food in here. Because this has better preservation than my backpack does. It, of course, weighs more. But I can at least put all the food in here because that's where it's going to go anyway. And it'll, the food will last even longer than it already was going to. Perfect. Uh, I don't want this on my head. The slender sucker jumps on top of you, suctioning and constricting itself on top of your head. Get off. Get off of my head, you asshole. I should probably just equip this axe and... Yeah, we're just gonna melee this thing in the dark. Yeah, you better fucking run away. I know, I know you're there, bat. I know you're there. <laughs> it's just like... Waiting in the wings. I was like, yeah, I know you're fucking there. You, you can't. You're not that slick. Oh, there's an iron ore. I'll take that. Hey, say what you will about the bat. It is f full of delicious meat. So I will. I will. I accept your uh, your peace offering. Well, we found a container. I was, I was like, I know there's one down here somewhere. Cause I thought I'd, maybe I took them back with me from here back to the other island. It honestly sounds like something I would have done. Oh, excuse me, bog body. I got things to do. <laughs> All right, now I can just come back up top and uh, extinguish our torch.
Guys. Fire source in order to repair it. Alright, that's fine. Let's start a fire and we'll repair this chest. Oh, we need an anvil too? Ah, whatever. We got all this food. <laughs> that we're about to add to it. Although, I'm probably just going to eat this bat steak, basically. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. We got put fried water in there too, so I'm just gonna drink all of my water and drink some more water in real life. <laughs> important to drink water if you can. One thing we are going to do is we're going to go into our little uh, boat here. Oh, wasn't there like a claw worm somewhere around here? Did it just like go in the, wa in the ground? It might have. Yeah, we're gonna... Oh, you camouflage, you little shit. Oh, all right, well. More worm meat. Mmm, delicious. Fossil. Turned out to carbon. That's cool, I guess, but not really super useful. We'll just assemble that. Assemble that, and we'll just kind of keep the stuff. In case we, in case we need the stuff for to use for anything. I, I promise this is organized in some tangible way. And by organizing some tangible way, I mean I have piles of things on the ground and it makes sense why they're there. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we don't have to keep those worms in our bag anymore because we have this chest that has better uh, preservation. Which at this point, we don't even really need to <laughs> worry about um we don't even need to worry about fishing because we got so much food all right uh let's see if i well there's already a, a underground area here that i have cordoned off anyway so it's probably smarter just to do that All right, let's go this way. I haven't been up this way yet. Oh, there's multiple chests up here. Uh, what is this? Obsidian, an extremely sharp and hard sh shard of obsidian. Useful for cutting, but very brittle. Hmm, a tin mortar and pestle. Okay. Tangibly useful. That one's not quite as useful. Welcome back. What'd you have what'd you have to eat? If you don't mind me asking, of course. Uh a candle, an arrow, and a belt and a... Ooh, sweet! That, that's good. Ta pretty tasty stuff. Ooh. Hell yeah. See, we got a bit more iron here. Take that. 
and some more iron in the wall too. I'm gonna consolidate all this stuff from this backpack into this backpack where I have all the, my shark teeth and stuff. And then I can use this backpack that's down here strictly for, uh, for carrying all the iron and stuff. Sweet. Okay, equal sign, close. Move that down and move all iron ore to there and then I'll let me more, more easily drop the rest of the garbage I don't want. So it's, it's always tastes nice to make stuff like that yourself. Did you like make the rice yourself and then make cook the chicken all that stuff too? I, I'm gonna assume so but you know what they say about assumptions. Hell yeah. I will admit I am not as good of a cook as I really should be at this point in my life, but, you know. Who was this? Oh, iron ore of aptitude? Cool, whatever. Oh, there's a, there's a spooky ghost. Yeah, can't really argue with cheap and easy to make. It's a, it's a pretty good combination. Come here, pirate ghost. I'm gonna fuck you up. Not even... Don't run from me. How dare you? Ooh, a tin shield. How light are you? 3.9. A little heavier than my wood shield. Uh, 3 as opposed to 2. I mean... 2 defense. 2 blunt defense. Minus 2 fire. 3 defense. Minus 1 fire. Minus 1 cold. I feel like that's probably an upgrade. We'll just kind of drop the uh, wood shield here. We can just make another one if it really comes to it. Yeah, cheap and cheap and easy are pretty hard things to beat when it comes to making food to sustain yourself. It's a pretty compelling combination. <laughs> We got a strength boost for mining. I'm just, just trying to scoop up as much of this iron as I can get my hands on, because, well, that's kind of the reason we're here. Seems like a pretty sizable vein of it, too. Backpack. That, yeah, that can't help things too. That makes it even easier. Like if you just like make the rice beforehand. Like if you just got like extra time, like before work or something, just make up like make up a batch of rice because rice will keep in the fridge for a bit, fairly safely. And then it you, you can you can revitalize rice fairly well as well. Let's see. No, I don't want to move the granite. I want to drop the granite because the granite's heavy and we don't really need it. Move all iron ore. Yep. All well, looks like that's all of the iron from this vein, which is which is great. We can like directly offload that iron into our boat. That's also really smart too, yeah. Absolutely. Like if you make rice, you can use rice in so many different kinds of like food that like 
it's it's there's a reason it's been a staple for thousands of years like it's so versatile like so many different cultures use it for like like their staple of food and it's hard it's not hard to see why because you can use it for fucking almost everything if you, it seems like uh, let's see open our container here and we're gonna start just transferring all this iron ore and I guess this uh, obsidian as well we've got a lot of iron to take back with this but we're not done yet I want to fill this ship up entirely with iron I feel like that would be a uh, good use of our time I'm gonna gather like one uh, bottles worth of water to take with us, and we'll just resell and re we'll re uh, fill it. Cause the bottles don't weigh much, but they do weigh some, so that would make it to where I could uh, carry a little bit more ore with me next time. Same thing with these bandages. I'm gonna have to keep one with me, but only one. Actually, I don't really need to keep the bandages on me because I've got uh, other stuff. I've got like these, uh, much columns. Yeah, the, the things, the faces, chicken, veggies, and broths. Yep, yeah. those are pretty, um, pretty versatile ingredients you can use for a lot of things. And the rice itself can be like eaten like literally all throughout the day in different forms. Like, if it's breakfast time, get a little bit of, like, milk of whatever var kind you like. Pour it in the bowl with your rice. Heat it up. Add some sugar. Bam. Breakfast. <laughs> can't, can't go wrong with that. I've, I've, I know I've definitely eaten that, like, over the years. Like, especially when I was a kid, like, before my mom had, like, made, like, rice the night before. And it was left over. Left over. Just... Just get up, do that, and there you go. Breakfast is served. <laughs> I like the little shield we got. It's a little tin shield. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. All right, well, looks like we're ready to go back down and try to get some more iron, so let's do that. Kind of comb around the walls some more. Ooh, looks like we found a little bit more iron here. Okay, well, let's drop all the granite and we'll just... And this iron pickaxe we made was super worth the, uh, worth the risk of trying to make because our skill level is still not very high with metalworking, blast, like blacksmithing or whatever. So trying to make a, an iron pickaxe was a pretty risky in uh, resources because it just takes a lot. But with how quickly it helps us mine more iron, it's so worth it. I'm glad that I decided to do that. Alright, well, let's... Vampire bat! Vampire bat! Come here! I'm hungry! Well, not really, but maybe later I will be. <laughs> Alright, well, let's, uh... Drop off 
granite, and then, yeah, yep. Let's see if we can find some more ore. Oh, look, there's a lot more ore. We're gonna move in here and just start mining. Like a like like one possessed by a mining spirit. Okay, and then we'll drop and move all of the backpack. And as our strength goes up, we get can care carry more and more. So this mining this whole mining expedition is just making us stronger too. To carry just even more. Drop all granite. Move all the backpack. Oh, hello, there's a slime. I don't really care about the slime right now. Can you not get, in, can you get out of my way, please? <laughs> oh, what the fuck are you? Oh, you're the hobgoblins I was fighting last time. They can't even really hurt me. I can just beat them to the, the torch. Ooh, there's another one of those orbs. I think we, I think we rub it uh, counterclockwise. Yep, and they just got us a bunch more benign. Lovely. We can also just cut them up for meat. We're gonna mine that just because it seems like there might be another little bit of cave this way. Oh, well, oh well. Could've been worse. All right, let's see if we can uh, bust into here. An another orb of influence, well, you know what they say. Waste not, what not. Ooh, another bottle, I'll take that with me. And a Gorget, nah, might as well. Oh, excuse me. It's probably in our best interest to um, head back and drop off some iron because we, we got quite a lot of it. Like this backpack is 46 out of 46.3 out of 50 for iron. So there's quite a bit of iron in there. Water, light the fire, make some animal glue out of the brains from the hobgoblin that we killed. Drop the bone fragments. It's got a shirt which we can turn to fabric. An yet another pile on the ground to make. <laughs> Let's get some more of this put down. Done. Got some glue. Let's use it on our torch here. Two, six, five, four. Let's see if reinforcing it does anything for that. Not really. It does, make the, it does make the torch way more usable as a weapon when the when the time when the need arises. But all right. Okay, let's dump in more iron that we got. Got like eighty, like 
81 pounds of freaking <laughs> iron ore. Most of this doesn't even weigh one pound a piece, so there's, there's a lot in there. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot. Hey, you know what? I'm not done quite yet. We can, I'm sure we can get more. <laughs> anyway, let's cook these two uh, meats here. Uh, let's see. How much? How is their their durability? Will be fine sitting in here. I mean, there's not really any reason for us not to just go back down anyway. Because it's not like things are going to really be that much scarier down here at nighttime anyway, if at all. So let's just return to the walls. Oh, hey, it's, it's this guy. Oh, you hit me, you fuck. We're gonna shovel. Oh, let's put the the decayable stuff in here. We'll deal with it later. I don't really can't be bothered to deal with it right now. Ooh, iron. All right. Any more? No. Ah, whatever. That. I'll just drop all this bunch of stuff there. Drop, drop. Any, any more ore? Any more uh, possible little caves? I really don't. It also resists two blunt, two slashing, and two piercing damage. So you have to have a weapon that has more than that to even do anything to them. might be able to do damage to them I'm curious it, get, it lets us train our parrying by just like fighting this thing but I would be, I would be much better served uh, just uh, getting my torch back on and ignoring them because they don't really do much damage either, in the grand scheme of things. Like, they do like onesies and twosies, and I can just fix that up by like eating food. This one is chasing me though, probably because I hit it, and it's upset at me now. Eh, that's your own problem. <laughs> I can't control how you feel, stinky. Ooh, what else did you drop? It looks, uh, an ornate blue book. Can you not? I'm busy. <laughs> I'm busy, Pete. I'm busy, bog body. I don't care if you got thrown in this bog thousands of years ago. I'm, I'm reading a book. Well, I'm trying to read a book. Oh, it's just empty. Well, you can have this. <laughs> I don't need it. Ooh, deep swamp water. That's a first. Hadn't ran into that yet. Makes me wonder if there's like some sort of like swamp kraken or some shit around here that I should be worried about. Cause I am just kind of lackadaisically wandering around the swamp without a care in the world. I bet if I go into this deep swamp water, my torch go. Yep. I was gonna say I bet my torch goes out. I'm just trying to find some uh, some of that metal, you know. Oh, I'm a fool. 
I'm a damn fool. I just stepped right into it. Well, so far, unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's like much of any uh, iron in this kind of section of the cave. There are bog bodies, and they're just dancing around in the, in the water. Good for them. I mean, that's kind of what how they got made, I guess. So, oh, god damn it! I keep I keep just I keep fucking doing it. I can't help myself. I was worried about how much durability my fire plow had left, but I shouldn't have been because, oh, Jesus Christ, what the hell did I do? I must have used some glue on it a few times because that's <laughs> a pretty thick freaking fire drill. Fire plow, whatever. I would say I'm probably comfortably in the mid game. If I'm able to just kind of wander around these like underground areas with more more or less impunity, because like none of the stuff down here so far has been very threatening at all. I say knocking on wood tremendously. <laughs> I finally found some more iron though, so that's nice. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a bunch more iron to haul back to our lovely abode. Not really an abode on this island, but like... We're getting just so much. That's, that's a lot of. That's a lot. Oh, hello. <laughs> Well, we just chopped up like two of these hobgoblins both at once. Oh, there's a third! Oh no! Anyway. It's just like a massive pile of hobgoblin corpses. Some ta some tattered trousers, a skull cap, and that orb of influence. There's only one of those I really care about. Although I think I could probably actually turn this uh, skull cap into a... Uh... I was thinking I could disassemble it, but... Perhaps not. Oh, I have rocks with me. I was like, wait, why don't I still so weighed down? That's the answer. I've got like 
six or eight pounds of rocks in my bag. Whoops. All right, well, now that those are all dealt with, they must have been just kind of spawning over here in this little cave for a while. Let's see what else is over here. An old educational scroll, what does that have on it? Oh, a boost to chemistry. Neat. Enjoy. Oh, there's a little bit of iron over here, so let's grab that. Close that. Fill that up with even more iron, and then drop, <laughs> drop the, drop the other stuff. Oh no, it's a bat! <laughs> we are honestly quite strong. Like, cannot under, cannot, cannot overstate just how we just hit a bat for. 10 damage with a lit torch. Granted, I think they're weak to fire, so that probably helped, but yeah, like we still just did a lot of. We could put out some numbers. Oh, yeah, I found a way out. And a bark torch stand. No, let's just leave. Oh! Shit. Well, I don't want that in my way. It's because you know it's kind of in my way. Leave me alone, slime. The the adults are busy. And it's like okay. <laughs> well, now I gotta make my way somewhere. Can't zoom out anymore. I guess I could just probably follow the shore and eventually just find my way back to. Places I've already been. Spider, you do not want to, to bother me. You, you probably really don't want to bother me. Yeah, we already made it back to kind of like an area where we know. A will-o'-wisp, huh? Can I kill it? <laughs> I have a feeling it's like running away. Playfully moving among the trees. A rare sight indeed. Well, we have uh, successfully made it out of the cave with a bajillion more iron. So let's open the let's open the boat. I'm actually curious. Can containers be stored in the boat to carry more stuff? <laughs> like, can you fill a container full of? iron and then put that container in the boat <laughs> to technically hold more stuff. I'm curious to see if that works that way. I mean, we could pick up the boat. Let's kind of examine it a little bit more. Okay, so the boat reduces weight by 20%, it looks like. Put our boat back down, let's open that. Let's just shove more iron, just shove more iron ore into the hold. The boat is technically completely full of iron now, but I am curious to see if the thing I was just talking about works. 
So let's do that. We'll let's handle our needs. Which involves drinking some water. Well, we can definitely make some more glue. I don't know what I should use it for though. That's a fabric. We'll just kind of group likes with likes with likes, I guess. Um, we got like five bits worth of glue and like five, like six steaks because there was a bat that we killed as well. Um, that's not a lot of glue. Hey, I'm willing to do it. Since our torch is still lit. We should be able to just use it to start the fire here. And then we can start just making the glue. Okay. Hmm. We could always, um, okay. It is a light source plus three. I don't know if it's like the best torch or what how the, it ranks among other torches. It's kind of a hard thing to really kind of know. Well, I guess in that case, we're just gonna use um, this glue in all the bottles I have here. No, we can let's repair all of our bottles first. And then reinforce them with all this animal glue that we got for basically free because we just fought a million hobgoblins for them. And then we'll pair that. And this is just get us a, t a teensy little bit more extra glass blowing XP for no any real risk because, yeah. Now our bottles are nice and juicy. Um. Let's extinguish you, because if we go to sleep holding this torch while it is lit, that would be a big waste of durability on the torch's part, because it'll just keep burning through the rest of the night. And uh, let's sleep. With our benign so high because of those orbs we found from the hobgoblins, things don't really bother us when we sleep as much, because, yeah, they just don't. All right. Drop these. Let's go to our food box and see what what's like the, the least fresh, and we'll eat some of that. Like, let's eat that, and probably yeah, it's definitely this one. All right, and honestly, at this point, we should probably just eat some of it anyway, even if it's gonna not go fully to full use, because. Otherwise, it's gonna turn to rot and not be edible anyway, so. Okay, I'm gonna grab one of my bottles, because we're gonna, we're gonna just, like, fill our thirst up and then re, uh... Purified water, drink in front. Drink in front. And then we just scoop seawater up, pour it back in there, and... When we're pro by the time we're done in the caves again, we'll probably end up having more water. Well, maybe not, because I'm just going to dip back. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to hurt this little tree. Oh, it gave us a branch. It's... Whoopsie. 
I just kind of ran right into it. Nah, eh, whatever. It's fine. You don't want this rat. <laughs> Alright. I know there were some chests up here. I think there's this, uh... This tin chest, which... On the verge of breaking, huh? Well, let's pick you up and figure figure out if that's the case. Okay, so we got this chest. Uh, it's not. Well, I mean, it kind of is, but yeah. Hey, thanks for stopping in. It's always nice to see ya. I'll see you next time. I'm streaming later today as well. If you want to head back in, but if not, then I'll see you next time. Thanks for the company. Fuck you, rat. Oh, what's a shimmering fire? When, when did that get here? Well, that's cool. No idea what that does or why the rat had it, but... Oh, shit. Well... Yeah, I meant to cut the rat. <laughs> Not uh, set it on fire, but my my brain and my uh, my brain and my fingers had different ideas. <laughs> so, sometimes brain just does what it wants to do. I'm gonna test out if there's like a weight difference. Between like opening this container, putting all of the uh, putting that in there. Which is this um, Hmm. I have a feeling that my idea was not going to work, because... <laughs> well, let's drop this chest and see uh, how much weight it gives me. I want to say 89, because it says weight plus 4 base and plus 85 stored. I was thinking maybe that will let me carry just a little more, uh... Yeah, that's not going to work. Um... Maybe with a better chest it would, but I don't think these, uh... Tin chest is up to up to the task. It'd probably just be more worth it'd probably just be a better use of time just to store all this iron and uh the boat, fill it up completely, and then just take as much iron back with me in my backpack.
Actually, the tin chests uh, reduce weight by 50%, so they're not really that great. Backpacks will reduce it by 50% instead of 15. So if you store like, if you fill a backpack up 50, it'll only weigh 25, I believe. Well, the backpack is, has its own weight value as well. So, and we'll just build this chest here. Okay, and then we can uh, shift this to um, there. We can technically leave like this and have a whole bunch of stuff on us. But before we leave, I want to make sure I take anything with me that I would uh, like to have on my with me. I'm gonna leave all this stuff here because that's infrastructure. We're gonna take a bottle of water with us. All these cucumber plants grew up nice, but we're not gonna, we did not actually need them because fish is overpowered as fuck. <laughs> like, just fishing is overpowered as hell. pestle we have with us we can make some tallow on this animal fat and we, I think we can actually use that um can we use this to make our torch hmm maybe not I don't think the animal kept pelt counts as uh, fabric itself what if we dismantle it nope still not that's okay Oh, I, I do have this woven fabric we can use for that purpose, though. Just make like a backup torch. Because these torches have proven to be very useful. And pretty strong, too, honestly. <clears throat> Bone fragments. I think we're almost out of dowels, that's fine. Uh, we got a leaf, toss that in there. Get all this meat. I'm gonna leave this animal pelt behind, cause, or leather hide rather. It's not really gonna do too much for us. Cook this, we'll just kinda, I don't know. Leave it on the ground. So we don't have to, we don't have to depend on the uh, 
We don't have to depend necessarily on tainted meat strats right now. Like in any capacity. We're not that desperate currently, <laughs> at least. four bottles here for just general use because I don't need them with me back at the other place because I already have bottles there anyway and if I don't I'll just make more because I have way too much sand for my own good about ready to head back. I can't really think of much else that we need to take back with us. We don't need all this food, unfortunately. Because, <laughs> well, on that note, we might as, we might as well turn all this to pemmican, because otherwise it's going to go bad anyway. a lot of pemmican we're just gonna keep that here cuz back at home we have more we have fresh food anyway so we made all that we'll take one of these nicer uh, we'll take this one with us And, uh, yeah, I think that's all of our, uh, all, th all we really need to do here before we're going back home. I guess I can grab these scales. And this tanned leather. Might as well, otherwise it's gonna stay here forever and not be used for anything. But maybe back at base it'll be useful for something. Oh, yeah, I want to, uh, get my, uh, my bandage is here, and I drop for the sake of, well, just dropping them. All right, I think I think that's gonna be good for us to leave. It's about time for us to be in the stream soon, anyway. So this will be a a good way to a, a proper send off. Look at all these sharks. They're not gonna bother us because we're in a boat. But you know. Like, when we find the edge of the map, we're gonna sail to the west some. Wait. We literally just probably had to sail south and we would've gotten to where we were. Yeah, looks like it. Because we're on, like, seeming like the very far west... No, oh, maybe not west coast, but we're... Yeah. Alright. The Isle of Calm Breezes is our current home. You can tell because we spent 31 days there. Ah. I feel like this has been a very successful game day. 
playing this because we did a whole bunch of stuff with iron and then we got the literal b bajillion freaking more iron. Oh hey, easy. We already kind of found where we need to go. Based on my my previous uh, ceiling. What's seafaring do? Allows traveling to further islands on a single trip. Reduces the stamina cost of encumbrance while paddling. Reduces the time it takes to travel between islands, therefore reducing the hunger and thirst gain, the damage dealt to the boat, and the amount of items decay, so... Yep, the higher our seafaring is, the easier it is to travel around to other places to do more of these kind of trips. As it is, we didn't even really need to bring that food with us, because... We, 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 we made it home, uh... Wait... Why is my sailboat there? Okay, I, I didn't understand what was going on. I was like, why is my sailboat there? I'm, I'm literally in it. It's like, don't tell me it duplicated my sailboat somehow without me really doing anything. Alright, well, we got more than enough stuff to get back, even though we were literally already just back now anyway. Okay, cool. It, it gets put back down. All right, well. Let's go ahead and get into this tin chest here. Just start dumping massive amounts of iron ore. try to find out from my roommate what she's doing for lunch because she's gonna be coming home today from visiting some family and we usually do lunch stuff together which is why I usually plan these streams around the times I do is so that we can do meals because we are both neurodivergent not always energetic people so we, yeah we try to we try to help each other out whenever we can with stuff and that includes uh, doing meals together so that it's all easier I'm just gonna ask my roommate what, what 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 the plan is, what they're gonna be doing, so I can know what I need to be doing. Cause she's gonna be back in in town if I'm like the next like 10, 20 minutes or whatever. Then yeah, sure, I'll just uh like you know hold off and maybe just keep streaming a little bit. Wait, let's, oh, well, then. Looks like there's gonna be another hour and a half 
for. She's kind of like home or in the area. So on that note, more stream. <laughs> oh no, more streaming. How how will I cope? Anyway, let's um. Move all the iron. Close the sailboat. Move all the iron to my backpack. And then put the rest back in the boat. And that should be where I'm light enough to carry some back to the chest. Uh-oh. <laughs> We've ran into a problem. We have too much iron. <laughs> we have too much fucking iron. Uh, what's this chest got it? Copper, uh, cl copper, clay blowpipes for glass making. Great, cool. Um, you're also gonna hold iron ore, I guess. <laughs> Jesus. We have way too much iron. I went a little too hard on getting the ore. Okay, grab all that. Move to backpack, move all. Hey, I actually got the rest of the iron ore all in just this backpack. These backpacks are ludicrously useful. We gotta make raw iron first. Hmm. How much would it take to make a um uh, iron hammer? Looks like it's gonna take, it like, take like three copper, so maybe it'll take three iron as well. A s hmm. It takes talcum powder to make an iron hammer, that's interesting. Try it. If I had, any, if I had any kindling, of course. Uh, I don't know if it's morning or if it's nighttime, or like dusk or dawn. I, mean, I guess we'll see shortly. And go. <laughs> well, let's get some kindling. Said we were we are out of kindling. Let's uh not be out of kindling anymore. Shark tooth, no. <laughs> anyway, uh, 
Oh, there's a, there was another log we didn't even get to yet. She, that's a lot of kindling. That's a lot of kindling. No, not, that's not where you go. That's uh, keep us going for fire for a while. Okay, it was about to be nighttime. I can kind of tell that now. Well, let's eat some pineapples, why don't we? And just keep spreading pineapples down the coast. Well, they said we needed a pole. We've got a pretty good one here. At least I think it's pretty good. Oh, 46 durability on this one pole. Yeah, that's that's pretty strong. Let's see. That's granite. Let's scroll down to the iron. There's just, like just so much stuff. All right, so I need one talcum powder. Do I have talcum powder? I could have swore I had some talc left, but that might have been the thing that was like, it's limestone powder. So we need to go get some talc from downstairs. Probably not gonna be hard to do. Pretty sure I've got a bunch of it just laying around somewhere. And this underground area is even safer than the place we were just at, because there's only that I'm pretty sure like the strongest thing that can spawn down here is maybe the uh, skeletons and or the uh, like ghost things. There's some talc. Probably need to come get some more anyway, but. Harpy, when the hell you? When the hell did you show up? A large and unusual avian creature, hostile to your presence. Oh, you're vulnerable to fire. Well, that's unfortunate for you. Yeah, you started it. <laughs> you fucking asshole. Starts a fight and then starts losing and it runs away. No, you don't get to do that. Oh, chicken breast. Mmm. What else do you give me? A golden sextant? What the hell is that? A metallic, a metallic brass covered navigation tool used for measuring the horizon and sun to judge distances. It's treasure. Sweet. I like treasure. <laughs> That's this is all talc. I was assuming this is all just tin because it I mean it looks like it's just all tin, but I think there's some talc here. Ten, ten, ten. I think this is talc right here. All right, well, let's just drop all the stones. D -d drop the stones. All right. Well, we got we got we got supper. We got treasure. We got talc. Let's go back up top. I think that little caved-in one is like right underneath our. Uh, like in our house. Well, we still got our torch lit, so let's just start a fire with it instead. And let's cook the cook the chicken 
in the same furnace that we use for blacksmithing, because that, that's sanitary. Um, iron hammer. We have made an iron hammer, a thousand durability, hammer four. The little granite hammers are more versatile because you can use them anywhere and repair them anywhere because these ones need a fire source to repair. So we're gonna use up this ha <clears throat> this hammer to to do our uh, our wrought iron creation. Cause you need a hammer. At some point, I would assume we are going to get a strength boost from, uh, yeah, from all this blacksmithing. It's kind of hoping that, because that would give us, let us carry more, you know? Wait, can I relight my torch from the, uh, yep, I can relight my torch. need to. My idea was to relight my torch from the fire and then when the fire goes out restart a fire but eh I don't think we really need to go that don't think that's that serious. Okay now the fire went out. We'll just start another. We'll just keep going. We have 40 iron left, it looks like. Let's turn into raw iron. And that's not even including, I have more like over here too. to uh rest because our we have a lot of stamina but we 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 burned through all of it so we can just go ahead and we could just sl actually sleep in front of the furnace anyway 
Like the bedroll's nice, but we don't really need it. The fire gives a nice boost to sleeping, so it's fine. All right. Well, let's keep going at it. There we go, there's a strength boost. I was wondering when I was gonna get one another. How many we got left? Uh, two. That's a lot of that's a lot of red iron. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. That was uh, not a wise decision on my part. I lost a bunch of stamina for no real good reason, but. How we get better is just crafting ludicrous amounts of of iron. All right, well we're gonna just drop rod iron on the floor so we can move, <laughs> so we can move around. Perfect time, maybe. Ow! <laughs> I think when this uh, finishes ri uh, ripening, it will spread to the other places. So let's let's <laughs> let's move the pineapples further down the shore. In older versions, I would do this with coconuts because coconuts actually give more water than hunger, I think. So I would just like find coconuts, start just planting like. Keep enough to survive and just start planting tons of coconuts everywhere. And then when they finally all grew, I would just have like endless food because of coconuts. Looks like a coconut. Drink in front. Drink in front. Full thirst. We have a cooked chicken we can eat too. Kind of forgot about that. And let's get some water. Put it back in our stills. Again, these these stills are very overpowered. And if you do play this game, I would highly recommend uh, figuring out glass blowing very soon, as soon as possible. Because making these is game changing. Because I I just don't have to worry about water anymore. It's pretty sweet. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. Alright, let's drop some of these bone fragments. Now, it looks like this uh, cotton here finally finished growing. So we can, uh... We can replant it. Probably down here. Yeah, 
I need that grass to get out of the way. Yeah, the more I think about it, it seems like it'd be really smart to have a different, like, farm field over here, over there, literally just for spreading more plants like this. Because now that this one is grown... We can uh, replant it again, and when it and when it finishes growing, it will uh, whatever it ripens again, it'll spread to another spot, and then that's how you kind of like duplicate seeds for some like some plants are a little uh, slower to propagate than others, and that's how you kind of beat the system a little bit. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. <laughs> this is a little silly of me. Uh, well, we got some more uh, cucumbers. That one is a green. We'll just eat that one. That one's also a green. We'll just eat that one too. That one's a blue. That one's... Just a white. Alright, let's see if we can get seeds out of you. Ooh, we got purple seeds. So that gets us purple cucumbers. So honestly, at this point, we're just gonna rip these up because they're gonna very soon not be worth a shit. <laughs> once this, once this purple cucumber plant. I mean, I'll keep them growing because whatever doesn't really matter. It's kind of like insurance against if this somehow like dies or something. It probably won't, but y you never know. You never know. Since we got so much extra time to play this game, since my roommate will be home before eventually. Looks like after I get home, I'm gonna be done streaming for today because my my roommate wants to hang out, and you know you should do that with people, especially if you live with them, you know. <laughs> so I will be done streaming for today after she gets home, but in the meantime, we'll be we'll play this, just more of this, which is fine by me. I like this game. Anywho, let's see, uh, let's, I don't know if I have these little, uh, cotton polyps anywhere else. Plant roots, looks like I do, <clears throat> on the floor here. <clears throat> I've got bowls of steel. <laughs> Tin ore, ashes, stones. Are there other ashes just laying around? Cause stones, sharp granite. There's a wall there. Hmm. 
Well, I thought I had a bunch of rot. Maybe I don't. I mean, you can use things that aren't uh, rotten meat to make compost, which includes um, leaves. So if you can get good trees, that can be a good basis for good compost, or if you can find good trees, even. I think I, in fact, do have good trees. Let's see if I can figure something out with that. Okay. Ooh, hello, gorgeous. Got a pur got a purple maple seed here. Mm mm mm. Yeah, we're. Yep. Wrong button. I meant six. We're gonna plant this, uh, we should actually plant that closer to our base where there's less stuff that runs around because we just usually kill it <laughs> if it's too close. Can replant the uh, the seeds that we got, like these uh, blue seeds. Oh shit! There's grass growing there. Damn it! Oh, that's right, because I uh, put grass down there. And, um, so I can kind of try to get more grass seeds that way. Which, hey, technically that did work. I, I did get two grass seeds out of that. Yeah, for now, I'm just going to do miscellaneous, like, stuff. Like, ooh, I want to try making some compost out of, uh, these two really good leaves. So let's put these up near top. Oh, legendary compost. Mastercrafted. Wow, that's the power of using really good stuff, I guess. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Need ashes, compost, and bone meal. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna replant more of these uh, blue seeds because they are they are paying me dividends, like extreme dividends. Drop all remarkable logs. Branches, rope tree bark, 
that goes in there that goes in there yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to make some really high quality uh, fertile soil to plant this uh, tree in because I'll make it grow really fast and then I can propagate more and more of them and just have like really strong bases for tools and everything because Papa John sucks, but it's like better ingredients, better pizza. It's kind of the same, same philosophy. Better components, better tools. We do have some, uh, some less interesting leaves left. So let's try to make some more, uh, try to make some more compost with them. Ah, uh, that was a lot less. Great, I think I've kind of got a, like a crit roll with this, uh, this master master crafted stuff here. It feels like I got like some sort of like critical hit sort of deal. Hey, I'll take it. It's n I'm not gonna I'm not gonna really complain about getting a uh, getting lucky. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. I know there are rats around here somewhere. Where'd he go? You followed me around that side, huh? Surprised the goats didn't kill you. Bonk. <laughs> Oh, look at that! I need uh, I need bone meal, and here we go. Ooh, got some pretty good bone meal too. Okay, that is compost, fertilizer. Well, it's not very good fertilizer, unfortunately. Well, I guess it. I guess I'd better try to find some uh some good quality dirt to try to make up for it then because that's kind of underwhelming oh there's some blue dirt Unfortunately, that's not very good for the soil. That being said, that is still 30% growing speed boost. And I, since I don't really need the uh, quality multiplier for like harvested things or whatever, that's probably fine. So we're gonna set this fertile soil down here, hoe that up, and we're gonna grow this maple seed. Cool. Well, that's fun. We attempted to make some really good stuff and it just didn't really pan out, but sometimes that's how life works. Things don't always go the way you want them to. And it's just something you gotta have to come to terms with. Not, it's not easy to come to terms with it all the time, but sometimes you don't get got a choice, you don't get a chance otherwise, so. You just gotta, just gotta go with it. But... Probably gonna go do some more uh, blacksmithing stuff. Soon. I need bone bits too. Whoopsie. Thankfully I have a bunch of those just in reserve because you tend to get a few of them. We got like at least 27. <laughs>
Alrighty. Well, our fire went out. Uh, we're gonna eat this tainted meat just because I don't care. Oh, we didn't t get poisoned by it, so cool. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna go drink some water. Drink in front. <clears throat> Refill that. Alright, cool. Frankly, since I have so much water at my disposal, I'm just gonna use it to, uh, just... Just use it in excess. Like, I can do that. It's not gonna heal much of my water, but it's gonna restore a lot of my stamina so I can just do more of the blacksmithing stuff for longer. This poor chest here is already way too full <laughs> of, I think I, ooh, looks like I got a few strength level ups because now I've got a hundred carry capacity. We're gonna have to store some in here too. <clears throat> Drop all limestone powder, which I've got a feeling we're going to need to get more of that. <clears throat> By a good amount. <laughs> I would use this retort to make a seawater drinkable when you can literally just desalinate water. It's probably quicker, but you have to use fire, and that costs resources. Desalinating costs no resources, so it's much better. But yeah, to make the, uh, the water still... Uh, let's actually look it up. Cause I've been I've been ranting and raving about it all all stream. You have to you have to make a sheet of glass and a sheet of glass is three refined sand and one limestone powder and a, and a lit kiln. That's it. You 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 get refined sand by uh, digging up three sand, crunching it up, and yeah. So three sand, one limestone, crunch a boat all up, make a sheet of glass, use that sheet of glass to make even just a crappy solar still, and then that just makes your life way better. You can probably do all of that on like the first day, too. Matter of fact, why don't we test, why don't we put that to the test? Okay. There's plenty more we could be doing, but uh, let's. Uh, I'm, I'm curious now how fast you could get that go up and going if you know exactly what you're doing. And um, I'm just gonna do like still percent, some stupid shit like that. 
Uh, milestones. With all these milestones, you can like, uh... You can, with all these milestones, you can make the next runs... <clears throat> ...less painful. But, eh, who cares? Not me! Gilbert, Isaac, and Ephem. We'll just go with Raven. It's kind of just the character I like. Alright, so we start with... I don't know what dictates what you start with other than, like, you start with at least these three. We have a clay jug. That's pretty cool. A, bo a glass bottle of unpurified fresh water. Alright, so... The, the limestone is probably the, mo the trickiest part of all this because you have to find limestone. Alright, so. Since we have a hammer, we're going to use this to try to, like, uh, mine some rocks. Yeah, we want to we want to make a an axe if at all possible but you can use the you can use your you can use your your stick here that you get to to just mine as well like making a dedicated axe will probably save your life because it'll let you like actually fight off enemies maybe maybe <laughs> Big maybe, but it be, a big maybe is better than not at all, so. Okay, dismantle those. I'll let us make some string. Probably one of the easiest ways to kind of keep your malign down early is to just make stuff like string. Oh, nice string. So we got that. We, we do need like two rocks to make a uh, make the uh, uh let's see a uh, pestle and mortar I think you need uh, I guess for a stone one which would be the easiest one to make other than I mean you can make one out of wood actually I think yeah two smooth grano would make you one you can make one out of one log which it's extremely easy to get. I mean, use use one moving, and there's a log. There's a pistol and mortar. I think we specifically need a shovel, though, to actually. Uh, I think we need a shovel to um, actually dig. We started near this like rock area, so that's pretty promising. There, there's a chance there's limestone somewhere at least. See, your granite pickaxe will just take two sharpened uh, granite, which not the end of the world to get. Sometimes you get that from mining itself, or you can make it from, like if I get another uh, rock here, I'll probably just use the axe to mine. Like that, and then you get a pickaxe. 
And now you have a good mining tool. Which will, which will, you're gonna want so that you can uh, more easily get, um... When is Mamas gonna play RimWorld? Um, I mean, I can. Not today, though, because my roommate gets back from visiting family. I'm gonna spend some time with her for the rest of the day because she wants to hang out and we're gonna get lunch and stuff, but... I can definitely play RimWorld eventually on one of these days. Like, at some point, I'm gonna run out of, uh, Shadows Over Loathing to play, and I can probably just put RimWorld in there. It's a fun game. But yeah, I definitely- I've had RimWorld for a while now. Teach you how to get good? Um, well, one thing I can immediately tell you about RimWorld is picking your starting location is extremely important. Because if you pick, like, a bad location where you can't, like, grow stuff, then that just makes things a lot harder to deal with. <laughs> By your hours played. Yeah, I, I've played a little bit of RimWorld. Can cannibalism is definitely a way to go. It's kind of easy mode, though, because, like, especially if you get, like, if you have, like, hostile tribes that are f trying to fight you, they're basically just, like, meals on wheels. <laughs> Anyway, what I'm doing here is I was just showing like how fast you can just get the uh, the solar stills that make getting uh, water very easy on a very on like a very fresh character. Like this character can. There's limestone. That's one of the things we needed. Bean cult. Bean cult. Bean cult. <laughs> the bean religion. Limestone powder. Okay. We also need to make a shovel. I'm not concerned about this character's welfare in the long run. I'm just concerned about seeing how fast I can make this uh, solar still. Because the solar still runs off solar power instead of fire, and will great and greatly enhances the ability to um, not have to use fire all the time in the beginning of the game. All right, so we got some poles. Let's make this shovel. Cool. We got the shovel. Now, what's said shovel? Let's move it down here to our hot bar and configure it to. Dig, which it already is. Cool, perfect. So we can press three. One, two, three. Okay, let's crush up this three sand or fine sand. And now we have to make a kiln just out of thin air. We have to like make a kiln. I think they'll cheat. They You can make it out of clay, but I mean, grain is gonna be by far the easiest thing for us to get a hold of. I mean, look at all of it. We might fail a bunch making this, but we only gotta make we only gotta make one. We only gotta get lucky one. Oh well. The only guy get lucky once. It's gonna rest on the ground to get our stamina back. Well, we lost some more rocks. It's fine. Oh, whoops! See, we made it. It was, it was a bit of a struggle, but we, in fact, did make it. But now we do need fire, because you, you do have to light the kiln to be able to, like, make your glass or whatever. So let's put the, build the kiln. 
Let's take another nap on the ground to get some stamina back so we don't like kill or literally kill ourselves. Okay, and uh, take the filter off. So we've got the kiln, we've got this stuff, we've got the limestone powder. We need a way to start a fire, which we can do with a hand drill. It's pretty easy. We have some twigs, we have some like branches and twigs and shit we can use to start the fire. Dismantle that, and then we'll dismantle one of these. That's another fire we can make. All right, and uh, let's put this down here. Uh, like for sure. Use hand drill, start fire. We're gonna probably fail to start a fire a few times because we suck. Because we're brand new at starting fire. Okay, there's our fire. Uh, why is it not letting us craft the sheet of glass? We're missing tongs, shit! Alright, well, I think we can probably get by. We'll just make some tongs. I forgot about tongs! <laughs> That's okay, you can make wooden tongs really quickly. That's a lens. Okay, what, what am I missing now? Feels like I'm missing something because the thing's not there. Uh, solar still. Oh shit. I didn't mean to make a lens. I'm stupid. <laughs> well, I need to make a sheet of glass. Thankfully, um. Oh, actually, this is. Not even the worst, because that's a fire starter. It's be it's much better than the other thing, so... You know what? That was intentional. We'll just we'll just say that's intentional. <laughs> Let's rest a little bit. So, thankfully there was a bunch more uh, limestone over there anyway. In case I messed up, which I obviously did. Very quickly, actually. Let's get two limestone this time. To make up for my um, my 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 great skill. <laughs> and literally on the beach, like right in front of the kiln, we'll just dig up some sand. Let's see, so that's gonna be three. Okay, there's one, so let's uh crush up our refine our sand. Let's actually repair our our little wood guy here, a little pestle and mortar. I'm probably gonna have to start another fire. We turn one of these poles into two dowels, and then one of these dowels can get turned into like wood scrap, and that's enough for one fire. Let's see, four. We managed to start the fire immediately. Oh yeah, we gotta grind up the limestone. There we go. Sheet of glass. Sheet of glass made. Solar still made. Put it on the beach. Attach a container. We ha we just so happen to have a container for that. We're thirsty anyway. Let's drink this water. Gather our liquid. Let's pour the liquid. Walk away. And now the sun will just turn that into good water. And what you can do while you're doing that is get more refined sand. And all that stuff to make and make more. <laughs> uh sheet of glass. Okay, I need one more refined sand. Oh no! However, will I get it? <laughs> I 
They did sometimes just fail anyway. Like, we'll have to get another uh, limestone, but... Once we can get, like, more than one of these going, like, we're just not gonna have to worry about water ever again. And this is a, like, a brand new character. Like, if you know what you're doing, you can, like, set yourself up for success pretty handily. Granted, we have a lot of malines, so when nighttime comes, we're probably just gonna get our shit pushed in, but we're not worried about that right now. Well, maybe we should be, but for the purposes of what I'm doing now, no, I'm not really that concerned. <laughs> So I got like probably like another 30 minutes, so you know what? Sure, whatever. We'll get that. Let's see, how how can we wrestle up some food without making the island hate us too much? We could just kill this rabbit and get some meat that way. Oh, you fucker. <laughs> okay, that one hit me. I, I drew, I draw the, the, the rabbit bit me. I was gonna leave it alone, but it's just like, no. No, we're not, we're not, we're not doing that. You hit me for you hit me first. I'll hit you back, and it's like no, please. <laughs> uh. Anyway, well, I guess that's our food situation fixed. <laughs> cool. I was gonna try to do it without making the island hate us, cause yeah, when night falls, we're gonna get visitors like zombies and vampire bats. But you know what? Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe we're just too good at the game. Um, no, we're, we're not, but I'd like to tell myself that. And we can equip this uh, little animal pelt. Animal pelt has a little cape. It's kind of cute. Uh, let's see. I accidentally made this lens, but maybe it's uh, actually not an accident. No, we started that fire immediately with like no skill. That's actually probably a, a, was a good idea. Alright, so we can cook all this stuff that we got from that rabbit. Uh, we also got some, uh, some giblets. Mmm, giblets. I mean, we're not out of the woods yet. Because we still gotta wait for that to go, but... While that's going, we're now, we're now well fed, so we can focus on... Getting more beach sand and crushing up the beach sand. Uh, zero durability. Let's repair it again. Try to. Granted, doing all doing all this so early is um. Well, our, our pestle mortar is gone. That's okay. It was made of wood and not fit for this earth. But yeah, like, our skills are super low, so we, we fail a lot doing things. But it doesn't matter, because now we have another water still. Problem being, though, is <laughs> we don't have a, enough containers to actually uh, use it, because you have to have containers. Which is a problem. It's not an unsolvable problem, but it is a problem. Thankfully, there's some clay right here, which we can uh, turn into like a pipe, maybe. Again, that also needs skill. But failing to do stuff does give you skill. Yeah, we're, we're probably gonna die a horrible death, so I'm just gonna focus on trying to get, like, enough stuff set up to where we won't immediately die. That said, if we could make some bark armor, we might be able to just fi be able to fight things anyway. So screw it, let's just murder trees. We're, we're already in the shit, we're already on the shit list anyway.
Yeah, as you can see, it's starting to get a little, a little less bright and happy out. Actually, I, I, I misspoke. We could technically um, gather this liquid and then attach this to a... Um, No, actually, we could pour the liquid, and then we can attach a tainer, container that we used, which will catch all the desalinated water. So yeah, we technically can use two of them at a time with two containers, because you only technically need one container. You just gotta use that same container to um, scoop the water, pour the water, and then use that container to catch the, the other water. So what we can do, in fact, is um, make some armor, and maybe we'll just be able to just deal with the enemies. I don't know. Probably not. We're not very strong. Especially when you first start out. You're just not very good. <laughs> that being said, you should almost always go after these dead trees first. Because they give you less... Uh, malign when you chop them down because they're already dead. Mostly because these uh, fully alive trees have more actions you take to get them to be dead trees that reduce your... that increase your malign, so... If you have a lot of spare benign, it doesn't really matter, but... When you're, um... basically fresh on the island, you usually try to should try to not... <clears throat> draw attention to yourself like what I'm doing why, why do I have rocks go away I was wondering why I was like so overburdened is because I have just a bunch of rocks on me instead we can make a uh... the great thing about doing stuff with the glass is that you can also do stuff with clay with the same kiln too so still cooking along which is fine it's a little sketchy at first doing things this way so it might be in our best interest to um, try to find some groundwater or something to tide us over till those are purified I haven't really explored around anyway. This this isn't this isn't, isn't going to be a permanent file or anything. I'm just gonna testing, seeing how quickly we can do stuff. Oh, perfect. I don't. Ha we can drink from it, which is probably not advised because it's uh unpurified wa fresh water. Eh, you only live once. Oh wow, it actually. I mean, it, it gave us some thirst, so, I mean, I was expecting to be, like, poisoned or something from it. Alright, cool, whatever. Maybe we can get poisoned, I just got lucky, but anyway. I just, I'd like to call, I'd like to call that skill. <laughs> Not luck, because, you know, I'm just good. Hello, little rat. Alright, it's night time. Yeah, there wasn't enough sunlight to get us all, like, we didn't have the whole day, I don't think, so we didn't really get the chance to, um, do all we could do with this, with solar power there. But before I even dare to try to go to sleep, we need to make some more, uh, well, some more armor. Granted, the only thing we make is like, uh, pants, and we can make a shield too. Maybe. How much does that take? Bark shield. 
or a wooden shield, we need three string, which we can definitely get. Oh, hey, it's a spider! First, uh, first contestant on the scream and shout. Well, more options of our weapons. Spiders do not react well to blunt, so we could use, uh, let's see, what's our shovel? That's just slashing. Well, looks like a, a granite hammer would break if we fight with it at this point, so we're gonna use our, our pickaxe. And since we don't have a shield yet, we're gonna just equip our axe in our other hand to give us a little bit more defense. Yeah, as you can see, we're not very good at fighting, but we did we were able to defend ourselves. That's probably not the scariest thing that's gonna come after us though, <laughs> so we kinda we probably got lucky. Not gonna lie at all, we probably got lucky it was just a spider. Especially since I was gonna work on getting more string to make the uh, wooden shield. There we go. We took a slight amount of damage from, uh, we took a slight amount of damage from, what you call it, fatigue, but that's worth it to make that shield, which gave us like two more defense, I think. Yeah, the shield gives two defense, and then having something in your offhand gives you one other defense too, so that shield technically gives three. Super worth. Super worth. Well, for one day, getting two, two water stills like this, and a kiln made, not a bad haul, honestly. Nine, we'll cut the spider up. Spider at what? They contain arachnid life. Oh, I love that. Let's just put that down there and uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to have those in my pocket when they hatch. That sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> See, let's get a little bit of stamina back and then we'll try starting a fire with our lens again oh it's not it's the Sun is not bright enough to use the lens that's fair well so for now we have to use that <laughs> well that's okay Well, do we even manage to, we did manage to cook the spider meat. I don't think that was really worth it in the grand scheme of things. Well, there's only one thing left to really do. Let's sleep and see how fucked we are when something decides to come at us, because I fully expect a zombie or a vampire bat to come after us. Oh, another spider, well, that's actually probably best case scenario. We can actually put the shield in our main hand. And the axe in our right hand. Because the shield is a blunt weapon. Well, it's not really a weapon, but you can use it as a weapon. And now, the spider poses us no threat at all. Oh, wait. Why did I press that? I didn't have anything there. And we got some more spider meat and some more silk. Thank you. I'm gonna just drop these. Sweet. Well, we can make more tongs, which is good because we used our tong we used our tongs as a cooking utensil, which is 
Not exactly what I had planned for it, I'll be honest. <laughs> It's not light enough yet to start a fire that way, so we can just wander around, I guess. We could start a fire like this. I, my suggestion would be to only do one still initially. Like if you start, if you start and you have like two like jugs with you or whatever, like start only make one still initially, so you can have another. A bottle to go like groundwater with because then you can drink the water and it give you a lot more hydration and stuff and be a lot safer but overall yeah like having these stills is a very nice thing to have and eventually you're gonna find a bunch of rat bunch of rats will just find you and you'll kill them and they can give you leather and they can just uh Make water skins, and that could be your containers until you get more, uh, more better with doing glass stuff. And then you just make a bunch of glass bottles, and then the game's over. You win. You just have infinite water all the time, and it's great. You love to. Oh, what the fuck are you? A coyote? Oh, you're new. Hello. Well, what else are we gonna do? I am about to let no coyote show me up. Or maybe, maybe I am. Yeah, you better fucking run, you little shit. I bet you can tame them and make, do you have a little butthole? Probably do, don't you? Now, if I was smarter, I would just leave this thing alone now, but yeah, no, it, it, it came at me, it came at me, I'm not about, I'm not dealing with that, well, I'm not about that life. Yay! Well, the sun's probably bright, no, it's still not bright enough to use. No tinder? Well, let's, uh, fix that. Alright, well, that... Coyote gave me some tasty food. And some brains. Mmm, brains. I love brains. Alright. Now, our water situation's still not great because um, the water hasn't purified yet. So, we're, we're going to have to hold off on eating this because all, all of these reduce our thirst. And you do not want to have negative thirst because you start taking damage. Ugh. slime that's great good for you we could, we could probably could just drink the groundwater there again but I think that reduces our health and our health's not doing super great as it is oh I, I did it again I just run into rock random rock piles and I'm just like what the hell what the hell what happened <laughs> Well, our, our, our thirst is starting to get a little low, so we're going to have to hope that some of that uh, water desalinated. Oh, yeah, thank sweet and merciful water. Mmm. And now we can, uh... For now, we're gonna have to gather liquid, pour liquid, and just attach it again. Get that desalinating as well. Oh, that one just finished too. Well, now we can eat our meat from the coyote fight. Uh, I believe we can craft this. Can we dismantle you for a bone needle? Yeah, we can make a bone needle out of this, uh, out of this. Which I'm gonna do. 
These are these are one of our hammer our hammer's last gasps of life to, to fix our axe. <laughs> So let's get more string. And with some of that string, I unfortunately need to um, be able to make another hammer. Okay, that hammer's got oh, not much more durability, but it has more durability. So we'll use our new hammer to repair our old hammer. Use that hammer to uh, fix our other stuff. Nice! We're, make, we're making it. We're making it happen. Well, that... There was one good thing that came from that coyote fight. And that is that we... Um, got another leather. Or we got another uh, pelt. Rather. Which can, we could use to make uh, some stuff out of that by stuff <laughs> and by stuff I mean we could use that to make like a water skin or like a bag or something Ugh. yeah I, th I think with a little bit more armor like some leather armor we would have been able to fight that Cody without like any, any problems but as it stood we we're kind of lucky that it didn't just make us bleed out somewhere because you start bleeding you start bleeding and it's it doesn't get any doesn't get very it's not very good for you to bleed out everywhere we're just gonna make a bunch of string because we we just need a bunch of string And then with that string, we can, uh, you know what? We will actually try to use some of these better things. Because with these bone needles that you get from, like, just the, the bone piles that you get from other critters, you can make bone needles, and you can use those with string to make uh, sutures, which can heal you and stop bleeding. Like a matter of fact, we'll use one of these now and see how much it heals. Because I can't remember. Uh, like, eight? Or so? No, six. I can't count. <laughs> well, anyway. What? We failed to heal ourselves? Well, I mean, fair enough. I'm guessing with anatomy, we heal ourselves more with, um... Yeah, healing consumables heal more as your anatomy goes up. Cool. Well, we basically healed ourselves back up from the, uh, coyote fight. But we're carrying too much shit, because of course we are. There you go. Keep that. I don't want it right now. <laughs> so for the long... If you're trying to do a longevity... Like, I'm just kind of messing around. Because I was surprised I was able to get those on day one. I was expecting it to take longer. But we got it on day one. And those basically guarantee that we're not going to have water problems going forward. Yeah, you got to, uh, you either have to, uh, detach, you can detach the container, drink it, fill it up again, and gather, pour, attach container. Hmm. I suppose my next action here would be to try to get... Like, I, like earlier I was trying to make that uh, clay um, blowpipe, or... Yeah, clay blowpipe. And I was failing because uh, our skill is very bad for, for uh, clay throwing. But we managed to do it, and with, with a clay blowpipe, we can do stuff with limestone to make bottles. 
So if you look at a bottle here, you need one limestone, one cork, and two refined sand. Which again, yeah, it's a lot of skill things and just making a bunch of uh, make a bunch of bottles is probably a good thing to do. So we could light the kiln, we need the limestone, which we have limestone. We had limestone left over, which is nice. We do need to, we do need to fire this uh, clay pestle and mortar though. I mean, I guess this is a good excuse for us to just level up our clay throwing anyway. By just trying to make... There we go. So now we have a, a, a pestle mortar. It's probably a little better than the wood one. So we can use that. Run up the limestone. I mean, some re some more refined uh, sand. Use our pestle mortar to grind that up too. Now we need a cork, which you get from uh, bark, which means we gotta go find we find another tree. Our axe is a little worse for wear. And that's also the the immense power of um, making glue is that it makes lets you get better tools faster. I should have I shouldn't have used up all my bones. But we've also not really found that many giant rats, which is kind of odd. I was expecting to just have like a whole parade of them after me at this point, but it's not the case. And we don't want to we don't want to fight that little rat because that is an innocent creature, and that will get us even more malign than we already have. And it's probably not a good idea. All right, so let's dismantle you. Dismantle you. Let's make a cork, and now we can attempt to, uh, I think we can make a t attempt to make a bottle now. Am I missing something? The blowpipe, I, it's, I have a raw one, okay. We didn't actually fire the, bl the blowpipe yet. And we fa we failed to fire the blowpipe. <laughs> That's okay. Again, that's all clay throwing, and our skill is higher now than it was when we tried making that one, so. It's labor intensive. Sure, ooh, delicious. Mmm, I'll take I'll take a snack. Okay, start that fire. This, this lens is actually a really big, uh, big brain thing that I accidentally did. <clears throat> hmm. Well, I mean, clay is harder to find, but in general, clay is harder to find. But you can certainly make uh, jugs out of clay early on if you have a lot of clay nearby. It's probably a better holdover until you can get glass, but. We're going for glass. Okay, we failed again. We'll just keep going until we don't fail. There we go. Now we can repair it to get some more skill and to also just make sure we have a, the blow pipe. All right. And let's try making a bottle. Keyword is try. Okay, we did. We we successfully made a bottle. We'll just. Oh. 
What do we have that? There's already more purified water in that still. Now, in the case of this file here with our location, I would probably start digging into this area to make a little base. <clears throat> Excuse me. And to kind of take advantage of the game's systems, you could dig a trench full of seawater all the way inland and have your little things here, like right next to your house. Because if the seawater is connected to the ocean, it's not gonna run out. It, it's just not. That's not how. That's you know. That's how real. That's how water volumes work. Yeah, another thing that we'd be doing if we're doing more long term is we'd make a hoe and start doing uh, cheese strats to get our mal get our uh, malign our benign up. Like we do some some fun cheese. Like, uh, let me show you some fun cheese. First, let's just make the, uh... So I, I can imagine the coyotes don't show up when your uh, b benign is high enough, because that's the first time I've seen a coyote, period. Uh, what was that? Oh, I was going to show you cheese. So let's get down here on our hoe. Set that to, set that to, what is pack ground? Interesting. Set that. All right. So let's find some grass. Which we got some right here. Let's press five. Keep just keep digging and just doing just doing this gets gets you a bit of a benign. And we haven't even succeeded yet in getting any grass or seeds or anything. Oh, we're hurt. We're hurting ourselves. Cool. All right, uh, five. Let's do some more. All right. <clears throat> kind of just clear out some of the grass here, cause whatever. You can also get some some fun goodies from this, like plant roots that you can use for uh. You can use plant roots for uh, medicine, or you can eat them if like you really need to eat food and you don't have any other food you can just eat plant roots something we should also have done sooner is uh, dismantle that we use our pestle and mortar to make tannin from some of this and tan some leather which I'm surprised we were able to do immediately that was kind of lucky We should have, uh, I mean, we needed the health back, but now we need a needle to make a bag. So our only other option is, well, not that. I didn't mean to do that. I just kind of ran into it <laughs> like a fool. As fun as it is just 
testing what I can do as soon as possible. That's gonna be where we stop the stream for today, so. Let me go ahead and quit to main menu. And quit game. And yep, that's gonna be my stream for today because I'm gonna spend the rest of the day hanging out with my roommate and we'll do lunch and just hang out. Watch, probably still watch some YouTube or play games or something. My, I was ordinarily gonna be planning on doing a long stream day today, but she requested just some hangout time. That's fine. She hasn't been home in like two weeks, so makes sense. But yeah, I'm going to end my stream now. Well, for the day at this point. So. Thank y'all so much for coming by and hanging out. I appreciate y'all. And, um, yeah, my next planned stream is Monday again with more Dragon Quest. We'll try to find the Dark Eye or Dark World Portal. Whatever. We'll figure it out. But let me see if I can drop a raid somewhere real fast. And we'll do so. Back to Twitch. Uh, who's on? Who's going? Oh, I see Jedi's on. That's already a, a pretty, um... Yeah, we're, we're going to raid Jedi. I don't know what the survivalist is, but we shall see how things are going. So, let me go ahead and we will end our stream and then we will be raiding into Jedi Cardet. So, say if you're going if you're going to be raiding along with me, say hi when you get there, please. I appreciate that. And I appreciate y'all. See you next time. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend.